This is a video game vid break yo podcast break video game break podcast. It is time for the video game. I like games. It is time for the video game. I like games. It is time for the video game. I drink whiskey. This is a video game break podcast. I am Carl Zardella, and I have with me a person who has been on the podcast number uno, Atticus Wyman. I am Atticus Wyman. I was on the the premiere premiere of episode this, of this sweet here podcast. Mm-hmm. It was delightful. I think it was fun. It was right after you ditched breakfast. Yeah, it was. Now it's it was not video game breakfast. It was video game break. So kids, don't take his advice. Don't ditch breakfast. It is still important. It's still important. just don't eat it and talk about video games. Yeah, it's, it turns out it's <laughs> difficult to do. Uh, also, I don't like breakfast. I Wait, found out. Really? Yeah, I made a show, a web show called Video Game Breakfast. People liked it, but it was, it was me eating breakfast. It was pretty good. Oh, thanks. Did, did you eat like cereal or like waffles? I ate one of everything. Like I ate, tried all the different <laughs> breakfast things, uh, including one breakfast burrito that I didn't even think I would like and I loved. It, yeah, it was just nice. a trip down the frozen alley. That yeah. sounds awesome. Why, why didn't you think you'd like the burrito? Um, I just generally, I like burrito burritos, not breakfast ones. I don't sure. like the eggs and stuff in there, but yeah. this one was amazing and it was spicy. So that show was fun, but then also I don't like breakfast. I like lunch and dinner. I uh, just generally, my stomach doesn't like waking up and eating. Video game after hours? Mm, mm. Which is maybe this thing. Mm-hmm. That voice that you hear and suggested <laughs> that is Sean Richer. What's up, Sean Richer? And you work with me at a company called Big Fish. Big, big, yes, Big, big Fish. Big Fishies. Oh, wait. It doesn't, it doesn't have games at the end anymore. It's just Big Fish. Yeah, just Big that Fish. That changed years Yeah, yeah. Oh, did I say Big Fish Games? No, no, no. Oh, I just, okay. I, I, I wasn't you sure. You got to Yeah, no, no. Be sure you truncated. You were like, listen, we're on a contract. Do not say the word games. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. And you, uh, more specifically, worked uh, on a ton of games. Yeah, uh, let's see. A uh, bunch of point-and-click adventures right out of school. So it was Drawn the Painted Tower, Drawn Dark Flight, Drawn Trail of Shadows, Fetch a Boy and His Dog, which is about a boy who has a dog that's eaten by a fire hydrant. You have to find the dog. Um, you have Panda Pandemonium, which is currently out right now, which mm-hmm. is a tile matching game about pandas and freedom. Mm-hmm. And then um, before I started at Big Fish, I interned at Microsoft and worked on uh, Forza Motorsports 3 making uh, engine noises. like <laughs> Nice. Almost like the intro noises. You're doing yes. a little bit of yes. hon- honking or horns. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Drawn is awesome. Thank you. And so is Fetch. Uh, man, Fetch is really fun. Fetch so. is a gorgeous game. It takes me back to old games like... Um, was it like another another world? I think that another was, world, yeah. Another world takes me back to that one. It takes me back to uh, the Neverhood. I've mentioned the Neverhood about a hundred times a day mm-hmm. for all the drawn games. Yeah, I think Pan is the only one I haven't mentioned. Can you go and get all those still right readily available? You can. So the you can get them through the website. Uh, drawn one. Uh, all the drawn games are available on the website mm-hmm. still. Uh, Fetch is available on iOS, uh, specifically the. It, it plays best I think on the iPad. Yeah, I uh, it looks gorgeous on the iPhone six, but best on the iPad I think. And then um, Drawn 1 is also available on Steam, which is awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, well, thank you for being here. What is this? I like I like the idea of all of those things. Oh, I, nice. I'm just not familiar with them. Ah, it's oh, like, a point well, click adventure you game. You, yeah. you are the what the faceless observer, kind of like in um, uh, Mist. <laughs> nice. Oh, Mist is good. We were just talking about on the last or two podcasts ago. Oh, uh, yeah, the podcast that went bad on us, like sour milk. Wah, wah. You, Wait, you were, were there tears? I'm crying that it sucked because it was such a great conversation. It was with Lauren and Nathan, and we had awesome conversation, and the recording equipment just was like poopy. So, anywho, uh, I forgot why I said that. Oh, we came up with the new games that are coming out in 2015, and one of them is Tacoma, which is mist-like. Tico- is, is it about it Tacoma? It isn't about Tacoma. It's not about, oh. like, a poo-smelling mist? <laughs> <laughs> which would be Tacoma. Oh, I'm a fa- all the Tacoma listeners, we love you. I know we're not we're not trying to rip on you harder than you deserve. No, um, you still have pizza. Oh yeah, yeah. I like a lot of Tacoma actually. That smell though, come on. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were talking about that game, which is, takes place in a like a space station, a deserted space station. And uh, anyways, Mist. I love those types of games. What's what what's over here? Let's go look. There's a chain puzzle. <laughs> Play with it for like twenty minutes. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, Greedy Strategy Guide also doesn't make sense. <laughs> Go to page four. Come back three days later and do it in 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Where's the, where's the witness, by the way? Remember that? The witness? I Jonathan Blow's new yeah, game? I, he's probably meditating somewhere. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm giving that. I will take that as an answer. Um, I, what I was going to do... Shrug. This is a new feature I was doing. Uh, it's kind of fun. I think we kind of already done it 
um, did it with Sean. But it was, hey, people, maybe this might be their first time listening, and people come on the podcast are reoccurring, and some are brand new, but I thought we'd do like 30 seconds, explain yourself, go. Nice. Now, you kind of already did it. I, was, I still have stuff to, I can still but plug But there's myself. other stuff, right? So we're going to do it. And I'm decided, as of right now, that we're going to make it 15 seconds. Gotcha. Ooh, Watch this quick, shit. Quick plug. And it's Atticus. Quick go. Plug. Uh, my name is Atticus. I uh, sometimes do things like Dungeons and Dragons. I am um, an th- avid tabletop gamer. I like to play video games. I also like to read books and comic books. I, and then collage them together into some That's landscapes. Oh, man. Oh, that sounds see? fun. I did 30, and it was too long. I, I heard Everybody that with, uh, with Kinsey. Yeah, it was, it was, they uh, got them all in. Yeah. Good job, though. Thank you. Oh, that, I, I've prepared. I've okay. prepared. Oh, I, I you did? I, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that. Though. Okay, well, let me reset it. Well, I definitely um, felt sprung upon. That's so. that's the goal, right? Yeah. Atticus Wyman, that's who that is. That, that's me. Um, that's Atticus a, Wyman. There's another person. That's Sean Richard Go. Okay, so uh, by day, I make video games, and I, I like doing that. I went to school for it. I love Mortal Kombat. And then by night, I also make music. I, I'm in a band called Anatolius Finest. Uh, we'll talk about it later, maybe. I don't know. We chip tunes and weird stuff, otaku stuff. Oh, that's it? Uh, you, Good I job. You were like seven now seconds. you're done. Okay. I, I figured you're only giving me seven and a half because I, I, I got oh, you ready. Oh, you thought I was going to. Okay. Yeah. I, thought no. you were I gave you more. the full 15. Okay. Thanks. Good job. And you finished early. Atticus, you did a great job. Hey, thank you. I, I filled the time well. <laughs> I am envious of your beard right now because I actually trimmed mine last night. Oh. You know, I keep doing whittling. I'm whittling my beard down at the moment. Interesting. To, to rational size. Beer, uh, beard whittling. Mm-hmm. It's like the Geppetto of beards. I like that idea. Well, you don't want to hatchet it, and I've 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 gone the bi- the big cut before, and then mm. always, I always have cutter's remorse. Is that a thing? Uh, I'll I believe it. it that's, a, that's a thing. I, I think it's probably a different name, like maybe like fo- follicular mm. remorse. That's, that's probably like it like counts for hair and stuff. Yeah, too. follicles. Yeah. Some cosmetology student is out there screaming. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying all the wrong it's words. This. But I, so I'm not channeling them right now. <laughs> so let's talk about video games. Um, Thank you. Who wants to start with what you're playing right now? Who wants to start? I'm not going to start. I'm kind of boring, so I'll start. I Yay! I am still playing Fallout New Vegas uh, in my reiteration of playing it. And that's totally fine because it's an amazing game. Well, and I never had done any of the DLC, so now I'm going through and actually playing all the DLC and thoroughly enjoying them and finding plenty of nerdalicious Easter eggs and the like. Yeah. I, I went to Vegas for the first time recently. Is the Luxor in that game it really should be because it's a freaking creepy thing but i don't think it is maybe is, maybe is there anything is. from no. vegas in new vegas i think i feel like there is i saw a picture of hoover dam and it was uh, relatively that. accurate cool. it's vegas vegas-esque vegas i, I do know vegas-esque. that when i go yeah. to vegas it's going to be a very interesting thing yeah oh no. you've never been no you you've never been are you never going to been. evo this year no <sighs> what are you going for for funsies no i'm not Oh, they said when you go to Vegas. Yeah, I mean, as in you've in, never been. And I've never been, go. and it possibly, oh, okay. you know, it's a place I could go. Mm. It's 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 all right, but <laughs> you know, that's kind of how I feel like it's going to be. It and, really is. You know, it's I'm, equal parts nightmare fuel and like a lot of I, I love, adult Disneyland. I love people of, watching. People watching is so excellent for me that I would. You would have probably a like that part of it there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what's weird is there's music in the streets. Like, yeah. I guess, is that Lionel Richie? But uh, you literally walk down the streets and there's like speakers, and I'm like, where is it coming from? It's like there's music all the time to be like, hey, come on, we're all having a good time and spend money, and I felt real uncomfortable about that. Yeah, that's well, that's understandable. I mean, did did you spend the money though? It's like a giant free to play game. I realized that when I was nice. down there. I was in a sports memorabilia shop, and I'm like, who would buy pay two thousand dollars for this helmet? And then it all clicked, and I was like, wait, free-to-play makes sense now. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. It all makes sense. Just wander. <laughs> Just wander and look at it. Just wander, mm-hmm. get stuff you want, and get out. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't buy much there. Uh, I was there for work. Uh, I forgot which conference, something. What else are you playing besides the Vegas? Um, well, today I was almost late for my bus uh, because Steam is having their free-to-play weekend, uh, which is going through Sunday after this podcast is released um, for the new civilization beyond earth Ooh, which is the, well yeah. it's on free to play weekend it's i just thought it was weekend. discounted i didn't know it was free yet. Well, it was discounted yesterday to this morning okay, I, I saw that free to fucking play man uh, free to yeah. fucking play so i got like that. 30 minutes of that in and was like first I one's have, free i must fucking save and go and that thing is like i heard some mixed reviews about it i too but i love civ so much it doesn't even matter right it's I, just like, I don't care i will i will play it yeah. at least at least a few times until i 
get bored of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I haven't played any of this. I played Call to Power Two a lot, which is great because you can be like an eco terrorist and just like plant trees everywhere. It's it's weird. That, that's kind of control cool the idea. weather. Nice. So whenever people talk about Civ, I have to compare it to that. I'm like, so at what point can you change the weather? Nice. Like, at what point can I, like, make a pyramid and abolish slavery and then change the weather? I, I think that changing the weather might be here in, <laughs> in Beyond Earth, but because you know, on Earth it's hard to terraform without well, beyond, terrible it, repercussions. In Beyond Earth, they're like, fuck that, we're just leaving. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, this planet is fucked. We know it. We're out of here. <laughs> Peace out, people. Um, well, I'm interested to see what you think about that as you go on with it a little more. I am too. Um, I I very much enjoyed the setup phase. I guess you know, mm-hmm. like in Civ, it's pretty. You know, as my, as many options as they give you, it's still pretty straightforward. And this was also pretty straightforward, but gives you kind of a better better way to s- tool what your civilization's going to be rather mm. than just picking a guy and a place that you're going to be and then like game dynamics this actually lets you kind of pick like who's on your ship what are you carrying so oh, that okay. there's there's multiple choices to make rather than just like the one choice nice. more Which, the more the little minutia stuff mm-hmm, yeah right. rather than there being you know a whole bunch of pre set out yeah 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 we don't want pre laid pre laid stuff i mean as much fun as it is yeah. to go through like 20 different world leaders you are creating your own future later mm-hmm. is, is gandhi in the future still Ooh, i don't know they're the first person i encountered seems to be in uh some sort of indian subcontinent hmm. cabal i don't know if i should fear her now that you've mentioned that <laughs> i'm a little bit worried yeah go back to civ 5 man just run <laughs> those civ games are definitely super addictive though i mean I like the I th- idea of them. There's something to do with that that has to do with, because um, I was researching Clash of Clans today because I didn't understand what the big fucking deal was. And I still don't because it's Age of Empires, basically, like we were doing in the 90s. It's nothing new at all. And um, and But but that being said, those types of games are always addictive, just like Civilization. You're like, mm-hmm. oh, but I got to fix my little thing. And the enemies are coming. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. And you just don't. You, it's like three hours later. The uh, camaraderie in that game kind of reminds me of an old um, text-based browser game called Utopia Online, where um, it was really bizarre, and you just kind of you'd get in, you'd pick like your race, so, like you'd be like undead or something, right? So I picked to be undead, and I picked for my uh, specialty to be like a sage, so that way all my like my brain sucks got fixed by being a sage. Mm. So then I just my people didn't need food. Which was awesome. Oh, that's cool. And it was all text based, so it's like you want to build like one hundred houses or one hundred barracks and stuff like that. And I had a team of people like across the world. I'd be like texting people at like two in the morning, like Denmark, and be like, Look, dude, we need to coordinate our attack, otherwise their shields are gonna go back up. And this is a fantasy game, so I don't really have shields, it's just like the peasants will, you know, whatever. Right, right, right. And like being undead, I could also spread the plague and then like steal some of their people back. Which was awesome. Yeah. I think it was called Utopia Online. It was absolutely absurd. There was like guilds and that when i think of clash of clans i think of that game but that the clash of games doesn't have that uh community stuff in it does it uh well i mean you ha- you have clans there's clans oh yeah, clans. right i, I believe so it's like hence the name i think so yeah i was, I was like i don't get a friend it. of mine she like calls her ex-boyfriend all the time like hey honey um can you like um bolster your defenses or something because we have to like take this thing out and i'm like her ex-boyfriend really yeah they're on the same clan clans Weird. are for life Oh, clans are for clans life. are for life. Girlfriend, boyfriend, not for life. Yeah. Clans are for life. Like they're not clans. friends on Facebook anymore, but they're still in the same Whoa. clan. It was weird. That's intense. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> hey, I'm like points. Yeah, points. Points, man. Points for that. I'm. I feel like the old man in that one. I'm like, <laughs> why don't get your Minecraft in the Clash of Clans? I, but, uh, I still haven't played Minecraft. I, I need to at some point. Another one where I go, not a big deal. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've played like 20 minutes of Minecraft. That does lead me to another thing that I'm not playing, but I'm anxiously like waiting, waiting. for I its like release, well. which is the newest update of Starbound. Their winter update is forthcoming, and Starbound is a it's a like a Minecrafty mining crafting, but world, it, but 2D. it's it's 2D. It's millions of planet uh, okay. c- procedural space. And they're finally adding in missions and AI and merchants. So there's a game in it now. So now there's a game. Okay, okay, gotcha. Up, gotcha. up to now, you've just basically been collecting been resources. Walking yeah, around, exactly. Yeah. And Although, I mean, the, filling, this... filling chests with weapons that I can't use because they're useless now. <laughs> but seeing like different enemies and monsters was cool, you know, like in, mm-hmm. each, in your own planet and stuff. So it was fun. Oh, it's, and yeah, it's like kind of like Terraria, where, I mean, almost identical to Terraria. It really is. In that, yeah. You know, there's a story without there being a story. Nice. Even though you're like wandering around, you find temples to things and you can definitely tell things are going on and prisons where there are definitely bad people being 
held. Um, I'll check that out. I, I think I own it. It's one of those like humble bundle things. Like I wanted some other game, and now I have like a hundred games that I don't even I, I haven't turned on. Well, we should yeah. do that. We should like compare Steam libraries. <laughs> I just kind of re got started because I like I was mm-hmm. saying earlier before the podcast, I just got a new PC, and. Um, but my, so mine's like thirty or forty right now. You guys probably in the hundreds, right? Yeah, and then I have all the games that Big Fish has released because I have the the thingy. Oh right, the thingy, the thingy. I can the, get the, the in, I can get inside the thingy, thingy thing. Yeah, the yeah, thingy yeah. Thing. We all get we. And when you work at Big Fish, you get the thingy. The thingy, and then yeah. you can play all the games. That's a technical yeah. thing. It's a thingy. Oh, it's a you. technical thingy. Yeah. Yeah. It just is cool. I mean, drawn's on there. You should you should all get drawn on Steam. I'm just. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love I love the fact that some of the stuff that we work with, it's kind of a double edged sword. Yeah. We won't get into it too yeah. much, yeah. but. You know, work talk. But we do do a lot of stuff that... Do do. We do do a lot of stuff that is also on Steam. Yes. So if I go, hey, you can go get it, get it on our site, which you should, but it's also a pretty great game in general, so it's available a lot of places, so it's kind of cool. Um, I was going to do a segue real quick to the kind of uh, Minecrafty stuff. Yeah. I recently tried, because um, I got this, I got the new PC, um, and... I wanted to try a bunch of those kind of rust type games mm-hmm, where you mm-hmm. run out and like, you got a stone, go make it happen. Um, and there's one called rising world and it got like a lot of good reviews and it looked like it said Minecraft, but with better graphics. And that's all I needed. Right. Yeah. Get in there and you know, uh, you look for the servers and there's like five people on the server on the main server. I'm like, this is not a good sign. <laughs> yeah. That's... And I come out of the room. I was like in a house and I come out and the graphics are not good. And I'm like, I just got this nice graphics card. I uh-huh. wanted to show it off and, so I get out and there's a guy. There's one guy there and he's like, "What's up?" I'm like, "Hey," <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, "So it's my first time here. What's, what's going on?" He's like, "It's pretty cool." <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he goes, "Hey, can you see this sign?" And then I turn around and there's a sign on the on the room that I just came out of and it says "Crack House." <laughs> and I go, "Oh yeah, it's funny because I used to like live in a really shitty house." So anyways, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> And like that, wait, and then my, it was not over. And then I was like looking at the woods, and I was like, I think I'm gonna go in those woods. I should have recorded this whole thing. And he's like, Oh, hold on one second, pick this up. And then uh, I pick it up, and he goes, Push to N. And I push N, and it's night goggles. He's like, That'll help you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just walk into the woods with my night vision. <laughs> That'd be even um, greater if that was just like a bot they put in the world. I know, right? <laughs> like, and then the bot actually something. made the crack house. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Well, here, it, actually, there's a, a final ending is that I finally got to, like, a cave. <laughs> and I saw the cave and, you know, had my night vision goggles. Like, so I'm, I'm like, going in now. I can go in now. So I went down. There was, like, two huge holes. And I was doing that Skyrim thing where you kind of go along the edge of the wall. That's so how you do wall. it. Yep. So I'm doing that, doing that. And I finally get to a place that looks like it's just a long uh-huh. hole. <laughs> You're you in know? just a, a pit. And now I can't get back out. So, so you I'm jump like, down. You jump down. Yeah, so I jumped down. And then died. And that was the last time I played. <laughs> <laughs> Rising like my world. experience with Second Life. <laughs> is it? Oh, yeah. I think I just like, clipped through the wall and just flew away. <laughs> flew away is pretty cool, though. I don't even know. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Might have been. Second it, Life is still going, though. It, it could have been 10 6. Like, I, I don't know. It could have been some game Sega had like 10 years ago. Yeah. I don't really know. Those games are weird because you don't know. It could either be a really fun experience or that thing, which is like. Yeah, we're. I love that guy was so excited about the sign. He was like, <laughs> hey, can you see the sign I made? <laughs> yeah, the sign that says Crack House. I do see it. <laughs> I, I believe no, that's by part way, of the game where you <laughs> made the sign I know. and chose to put text on put it. Put text on it, yeah. By the way, no offense to the guy because he actually gave me night vision goggles and yeah. helped me. So, cool. You're a good guy. Hey, you ever but played like, weird. Animal Crossing with someone like really weird? I don't like, know. Explain. I, 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 had a, I had a roommate at the time who was all like, yo, dude, we got a GameCube now. And I have like this memory card I've had for years. I'm going to put it in and like, show you my, my, my uh, Animal Crossing hmm. village. I'm like, it's cool. So he's got his like fishing pole and he's fishing and stuff. He's like, check this out. Takes me down this like road or wherever. It has a little grove of trees. Oh yeah, and it's his shrine to snake. Like it's like because you can like paint in the game. Like oh make really yeah, crappy, you can like, draw. Art and stuff. Yeah. And he's got like this whole shrine, to, like a picture of snake, and then like like a snake formation on the ground or something. And I was like, this is weird, dude. <laughs> like a whole shrine to snake. And the fact that he wanted to show you, like showed off. That's I mean, it's adorable. <laughs> I guess that's why you do those things. But yeah. there's not often a chance for someone to come to your little yeah. village. Well, think that's why they have like visitors from other towns. And that was so on the GameCube too. So it was like weird. It was like basically between that and then uh, what the twin snakes. So it was like that and Psycho Man just screaming at us all the time. But that was so that was weirder because in the DS version you can actually visit each other's towns. That that makes more sense. And that one was like, hey, I have a memory card. This is like, dude, yeah. I'm in your house already. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so I think um, 
yeah, it's it's more commonplace now. Um, I'm playing a couple other things, but yeah, I'll, I'll start now and then I'll go to Sean. Yeah, that's fine. Because I'm already here. Um, I'm playing a lot because I just got a new computer. But weirdly enough, I didn't find enough really cool games to show off my graphics card. And um, I was like, how is that possible? Because I just got a computer crap. for that. I already had that on my PS4. Why the fuck do I want it on the computer? Seriously, it looks great on my big TV. So um, here's the things I played. And two of these are really awesome. The first one is, is medium awesome. It's called Age of Decadence. Not many people know about this. I don't know if it was green light. It's definitely indie on Steam. I made a ton of stuff that's indie on Steam. But indie on Steam. Indie on Steam. It might have started as a Kickstarter, I think. Um, what's interesting about its concept, and I'll tell you one story that will make you want to play it. The concept is it's an RPG, more in feudal times, so not really as fantasy. Uh, Game of Thrones, think. Yeah. Okay? Yep. There's a lot of backstabbing, conniving y things. You're still a character, you still have stats, and you still have combat. Mm-hmm. But it, in the beginning of the game, it says, hey, guess what? We're a game like real life. If you went against three human beings and decided to fight them, they might kill you, like in that fight. Doesn't matter how strong you are, because they want to live. And I was like, that makes sense. Ooh. And so then, basically, it's a game that doesn't want you to have to restore, resort to fighting. Mm-hmm. And if you do, you got to be really careful about it. And also, there's not the best armor. There's just different armor. So you have heavy armor. It's not the best because you might then you're gonna be slow. Mm-hmm. If some two guys have like two knives or daggers, and you have this big long sword, it really comes into play supposedly. So here's my weird quick story, and then I'll, I'll get off, and you guys can download it and decide it for yourself. But I was enjoying it. It was a lot of talking, a lot of dialogue trees. I was trying to do some conniving and lying to people and things like that. And I equipped myself pretty good. I thought it was good stats. Strength was high, you know, fighter class. I get um, walking along, and this guy goes, and it's a poor town. Um, I'm sorry. I was supposed to get the pea poppers. You heard that loud. Oh, yeah, it was a poor that. town. I'll get them next time. Um, this guy comes on. And he's like, listen, it's hard times. I'm, you know, the town's falling on hard times. And I have these wares that I've made myself. They're not as good as the other ones, but they're at fair price. Basically, whatever I cost to make them is how I'm selling them. And I was like, you're right. Manufacturer, keeping it real. I like this. Artisanal. Artisanal Artisanal (laughs) fellow. And he goes, just come over here and I'll show you my wares. And I was like, of course. Which I thought was like, go to his, you know. Truck or something. Was there a shrine you, snake? You poor, poor, <laughs> trusting sap. <laughs> so cut to, it fade out, which by the way sucks already, right? <laughs> it's not a good sign. Where are my kidneys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Um, and so I'm like, where, where are my kidneys? That happened in, what did that happen in? A movie? That did. It, yeah, it's called I, The Third World. <laughs> no, it was a movie though. It was a, that cut from the podcast. <laughs> hands up. My hands are up. Yeah. Anyways, that happened. Well, now it's going to bother me. No sympathy for Mr. Vengeance? I don't, I don't know. No, he woke up and his. they said his kidney was gone, but it wasn't. I think it was lost. I think I it can, was lost. I can't believe that. And they were like, we cut your kidney out, so you need to do all these things so we can give it back to you or something. That sounds like something that probably would have happened to Locke yeah. or something. Yeah, right? Oh, Locke got the shaft. Holy crap. Um, anyways, so I wake up, and I'm in a house, and it's still okay. <laughs> like I feel like you know I'm going to see some stuff, right? And he goes... Uh, you, what well, you said, you poor, poor, trusting soul. <laughs> um, we know that you have money somehow or whatever. They saw I had a bag of coins. And so now we're going to rob you and you're fucked, you know? Okay. So there's two dudes all of a sudden showed up and they're, it's combat mode. And I'm like, well, fuck this, bitches. I got strength and eight or whatever, right? <laughs> and I put myself, it. it's got to do it. But I, I really did feel like I was like strong for my class, you know? Mm-hmm. Died like a motherfucker <laughs> real quick. <laughs> like they stabbed me a bunch. <laughs> And I even try to run a couple times, <laughs> like go like, for the door. Nope. They're like, no, we're going to keep stabbing you. Like literally, it was like real life. Nice where... armor slowing you down there. <laughs> well, no, it's almost like um, I recently saw John Wick, and he had this uh, bulletproof vest on, but then the guy just took a piece of glass and stuck him in the part where it wasn't, you yeah. know? And then, yeah. Like, yeah. then he was bleeding. <laughs> so it was like that. They were just stabbing me in my where my armor wasn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, and I really tried to run, and they really treated it like, you know, like Dungeons & Dragons, Miss initiative or miss a uh, roll for it saving throw uh-huh. you couldn't get away i couldn't get away oh, they just man. killed me it's like playing blood bowl trying to get around like a quarterback or something oh, nice. it's like they just trip you yeah yeah God, i love blood bowl so age of decadence it it isn't that a cool idea at least no that sounds crazy oh that does sound pretty good that sounds very difficult 
It was real difficult. I died. Uh, I think I'd learn, I've learned now, don't play a fighter class. Is that like roguelike? Like you're permanently dead? No, no, no. Okay. No, no, I saved right before that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is it? Could you like have a bunch of people and then be drinking and pass the controller around when someone does like a stupid thing and trusts the wrong person? You could. I, I might do this. Yeah. If you chose to do it that way, you could. We did that with, uh, what was it, the game that just came out at the, uh, God, the Resident Evil clone thingy, um, and Evil Within. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. We got that is a good one to pick up. We got completely up and, trashed and yeah. just passed it around. Yeah. Whenever it got to me, I used all our ammo, and then the next person <laughs> had to deal with it. Because usually I got, I, I was able to hobble to a save point, and they were like, seriously, dude? Thanks The last for that. save point was like an hour and a half ago. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, the save points are weird in that game. They're really weird in that game. That game is basically Silent Hill. Yeah. It's like a Silent Hill game. I don't think we talked about it before, but yeah, I like the evil with them. I was here when you started playing it. Oh, okay, yeah. I like to call it Silent Evil. That's, that's <laughs> there you go. It's perfect. It. Yeah. yeah. I'm on chapter seven and then put it down. I literally was like, not. Did, did you fight the enough. demon dog? No. There's a demon dog. He doesn't Maybe. like you. Okay. Sounds sad. And then it's all like, oh, fight's over. And then he's like, I have to go back and fight the demon dog. Like, why? You just walked oh. away. You just walked away. Demon dogs are not fun. Dogs and birds are bad in games. <laughs> yeah. Right? I feel like. Birds are always bad. Bird, birds are pretty much the worst, yeah. Because they come in... Oh, by the way, the new Far Cry 4 has like a bird attack thing? Like like a falcon on your arm? No, no, no. Like a falcon thing? just comes out of nowhere you and attacks like, you. Do you like fall off a cliff? Because that'd be hilarious. No. Like, but you, it's like hard to beat him. It's well, like... Falcons are... <laughs> they're fast. Birds. You probably yeah. can't even like aim fast enough. No, he just attacks you and you're like, shake him off. Anyways. Two more games of line real quick and then we'll do Sean's and then we'll go to the news. Uh, Lisa, which is an uh, Earthbound game, basically. It's like Earthbound meets really weird, mature adult themes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have a coworker named Lisa whose brother got it for her because her name was Lisa. And then oh. she was like, it's really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> there's like, it's, uh, there's a lot like of, you know. Inappropriate touching, oh, I man. believe, is in there. There's, a, there's some weird stuff, but it's, it's mo mostly gory, you know, like a lot of like decapitated like bodies and stuff. But it's not, I don't like gory. It's not that. It's very cartoony in its essence. But it's, it is, it's treated like Earthbound, where there's the combat's exa exactly the same, you know, combos within like a turn based kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a really weird story. I don't even want to tell you too much about it, but I think everybody should play it. What, what does it look like? It's like a 2D platformer until it gets to the combat. Okay. So Earthbound was more like three quarters like top down view. Okay, yeah. But it's the same exact graphic style. Like, oh, so it's still like the, the this weird drawn eight bit creepy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's definitely eight bit, uh, sixteen bit. Sixteen bit. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think it's great. So everybody, should, please check it out. That sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like I always look to Atticus when he's on the podcast <laughs> yeah. to if he agrees. Yes, you are correct. And then he goes, "Yes, that's okay. That's okay. We, that we, one we we'll will check accept." Out this game. Yeah. <laughs> and the last one I'm playing is Wasteland Two, which is it's fucking great. I'll admit I don't even know what that is. So Wasteland was basically the original Fallout. Ooh. And then they made Fallout. Then they made Fallout, okay. uh, which they made is Brian Fargo. Is, that's that's a, uh, what, is that Black Isle? No, who made Fallout? Uh, Interplay. Interplay. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, the publisher, but yeah. And. I can't uh, yeah. And Brian Fargo, basically creator of Wasteland and the early Fallouts, kickstarted Wasteland 2. Okay, I saw that. That was like, yes, I saw that. I yeah. Saw that. And, uh, you know, not many Kickstarter games came out and were good. How is it? It's great. Is it's it, like fucking really good. Is it like original Fallout, Baldur's Gate yep, style? Yep. And the turn base is Fallout. I mean, it, people have said it's Fallout 4. Yeah. But okay. top down view, you know, uh, three quarters view or whatever. It's perfect. That's awesome. It's perfect. And what's interesting is that I actually, and this is a longer discussion, but I'll make it short. I, I've actually, it's been hard for me to role play characters in video games. Um, Mr. Atticus Wyman loves the Dungeons and Dragons. I love the feeling we still can get from the role playing part of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With, you know, dialogue trees do a lot for giving you some options. Right, case. right. Um, but lots of times it, it falls short when it comes to you know video games. I feel like right. Yeah. It, it can unless you like impose really weird restrictions on yourself. Oh, interesting. Like when That's I played when I played Fallout Three, I decided like I was going to play a character who was like nihilistic and felt that money didn't actually matter. Mm. So I know that like cannibalism was one of the perks. So mm -hmm. my idea was I was going to steal everything or eat people. And it's like even if I had money and I saw a merchant had something I needed. I would kill the merchant and eat him and take his stuff I like because I, I could never af afford to pay him because I was never going to use my bottle caps. Bottle caps were points. I, I didn't want to not have points. I, I needed like the it. points. I like it. It makes the game really weird. And the, and people do that kind of stuff with Grand Theft Auto and things like that. You know, you see like the pacifist, you know, and that's really exciting, you know, to mm -hmm. see people, in, you know, role play. I, I, I think I mentioned it the last time I was here, but someone apparently did 
Fallout New Vegas as the doctor and played the whole thing without killing a single person. Nice. Wow. And completed a Fallout game as a complete pacifist. I think you can do that with the the first one, too. I think you can get away with like not using a gun and just kind of, I think, like karate chopping someone behind the neck at the end or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because sometimes you have to take the people out. Yeah. Um, I think uh, Fallout 1 and 2, yeah, were brilliant with the kind of choice trees and stuff like that and yeah. making you feel like everything really mattered. Mm-hmm. So this one, you know, I feel like in Wasteland 2, you don't feel... It's not like Fallout 1 and 2 where almost every single thing you do matters, but it's real close. And what I was saying the role-playing thing is because I made my car- my party, and you can do pre-made people, but who the fuck wants that? No. So I spent a long time... No, that's, that's how you have to do it. It's how you get attached to your, yeah, your group. Yeah, yeah. And I actually did... For the first time, I did... Because I had four people to start, I did a di- very diverse group, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and I made the scientist nerdy guy... And he's really good at lock picking and computers, and he looks like that, and he's got a fun handlebar mustache. <laughs> and then I have the girl who's like a, a smart ass talker, and she's like really good with charisma, mm-hmm. and this this um, talent called uh, kick ass, which means you can really <laughs> kind of like get people to do what you want because you're just awesome. Nice. Uh, and so she's kind of the front woman. She kind of goes nice. up and talks for all of us. Okay. And then there's me, who's Onawa. It's kind of a version mm-hmm. of me, who's a warrior dude. And then there's my warrior lady, which looks like a Aww. Native American lady, and she's a warrior. Chica, chica. But she's better with <laughs> she's better with guns than I am. I'm more the you know uh, pick up a sword or whatever. Puncher Rooney, nice punching guy. Yeah. So that's a pretty diverse group, and I got to make that and feel real good about it, and I succeeded. So and they're working for you. They're working. That's great. Yeah. Is that's... it is it like uh, like the original XCOM? Like, do those people like perma die, or can you always bring them back? They do, and that's why you just save and load, save and load. Okay. Yeah. I remember the original XCOM. The first time I like oh. walked off the ship, and like it's in the middle of the night. I'm in the middle of a field. And I'm so super good. happy. I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. gonna go out and I'm gonna, gonna explore. Stop and then these aliens. My first dude, like Bob or something. I didn't even know there was aliens yet. I was oh. like, there's stuff going on. Bob's walking down the loading ramp. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Lisa went out. Oh. oh, I see how this game works. Everyone back on the ship, fly away. Yeah. Not worth it. <laughs> run away, run away. Uh-huh. Oh. oh, I love XCOM. Um, XCOM I've also is been, good. I've also been playing uh, the new Shadowrun game, which oh. is called Dragon... 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 Dragon, oh, my Dragon God. Doohickey. Did you see that game, the new one, funded in like an hour? No. Yeah, they put it... They were like, by the way, tomorrow Hong Kong's going live on uh, Kickstarter. And then um, I was like, at work, so I was like, at lunch, I'll look at it. And I was like, well, that, that that's already funded. It's at like 100K. And then yesterday it was at 200K. Today it's at like 350 when I got to work. And I was like, well, they're going to make another $1.5 million off an expansion to Shadowrun. Like, the game's already done. Yeah. The game's already done. It's kind of it's kind of amazing and a little frustrating because the game doesn't look that much better. It definitely looks better than the first I, I think Shadowrun adding, that came out. I think out. they're adding animatics to this one. And they have their new um, Rat Shaman. And, like, I'm a huge Shadowrun fan. And I kind of, like, drool over Jordan Weissman whenever I run into him in Redmond. Because Shadowrun <laughs> takes place in Redmond. Mm-hmm. So he's on our turf. Seattle, bitches. <laughs> the P- Yallop, uh Downs, the Redmond Barrens, you know, it's it's yeah. this area. Yeah. It's Dragonfall. Yes. It is. Yeah. It is Dragonfall. That's Dragonfall is. is cool. The new one and it's Berlin. It's great. Name. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. It's, I, so I was actually it's between Wasteland 2 and, and Shadowrun Dragonfall. So. Well, that's why I mentioned it because uh, it's that same style and. What kind of characters well, do you guys play in Shadowrun? Oh, I don't. I mean, I haven't played it for a while. This is going to be my return to it. So Okay, okay. Yeah. Um,. I either generally will play a Decker or I am playing the Chi Caster in this oh. one. I'm a dwarven Chi Caster. So, like I'm, basically a monk going around yeah, and punching I'm, stuff. Really oh, really I like punching that. people to death and nice. thoroughly enjoying that. Like in a lot of those games, like when the Shadowrun 360 game came out, oh, which yeah. I know not everyone loved that. I played it for like nine months straight. Uh, <laughs> me and my roommate played it. We were like the only people playing it. It was awesome destroying everything. A troll with a minigun. Nice. Which, um,. It was fun summoning like the elementals and stuff. So when I went into the actual PC one or the Mac one, it's like me a troll. Um, I'm already like genetically not very smart, so I put all my research points into like being very smart and mm-hmm. charismatic, so I can like summon a creature, which usually turns on me like two turns later. Yeah, mm-hmm. and nice. it just turns into like this this weird like you did roll the the Benny Hill theme. Yeah, a little a little golem. Frankenstein. Yeah, it's, it, I love the way they, they roll for accuracy in that. Like, I, I tried to get an Uzi to use it, and it's like, I'm so bad at that. It's so difficult. I, I figured, like, even if I misfire, I'll spray the wrong side of the room and still get them. Definitely. But I'm so bad at shooting, it's like, you end up shooting behind me somehow. So it's like... And you shoot yourself in the leg. <laughs> yeah, right. You're like, I guess. It's like going back playing Warhammer or Oops. something. Like, scattering a mortar <laughs> on your own people. 
<laughs> I, I think that, I love that idea of, and this happens in Wasteland, where uh, you can pick up companions. Mm -hmm. And so I picked up, in the very beginning, you could pick up a girl who's real mad about uh, this murder that happened. She's like, hey, just let me come with you guys because I need to be part of this. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, I'm not going to say no. Of course, yeah. But then we, the first combat we get into, she's like, uh, whatever her name was, she goes rogue. Yeah. <laughs> like, and she like runs backwards and starts shooting like at the fucking trees and stuff. I'm like, what are you doing? I thought you were like <laughs> on board. It literally said your that character's name goes rogue. I'm like, what does that mean? I thought you were. <laughs> I thought you were cool. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Um, in the XCOM game, that happens. Yeah, if, yeah. If you freak out and you just do you does your companions in Shadow Run Dragon Falls. You have a party. Yeah, you end yeah. up with, with I mean, folk you, in your party. You is, is Coyote still in that game? I haven't played that one yet. I No. No, it's totally... God. You can bring your character over, though, right? I haven't tried. I just started a new character. Gotcha. I miss Coyote. I think I think you must be able to, because they, they treat you like a, a known entity. Yeah. Yes. That Decker thing, I remember, I remember. I played a Decker before, I think. I like that kind of just the to, cyber world. Of I it. need to look to see if I can pull mine in. I didn't even I, I think you can, because like the, that, that's cool. Yeah, that's another thing where I bought it during the holiday sale, and I was like, I just want to get in there. That's another thing. If it's cool, it probably is real. <laughs> it, that's yeah, a, that's all, a rule. All real things that's, are cool. Yeah. Charm Richard, what are you playing? Oh, my God. Oh, man. Look so I, I picked up an Xbox One recently because I decided what? that was a good... I figured it was a good idea. I had a PS3 that worked and an Xbox 360 I've turned on once in the last, like, five years. Oh, so you didn't have a PS4. Okay. I didn't have a PS4. So, okay. like, the last thing I played on the 360, which isn't important, was Mass Effect, which is the best game series of all time. Um, it's pretty good. talk about Mass Effect whenever. It's pretty good. Um, so I have a buddy of mine that works down at Telltale, and so I buy all his games. So I just finished uh, Wolf Among Us, and he's mm. all like, mm. you got to play Game of Thrones. And I was like, I don't know what a throne is and why there's a game of it. I've never seen any of it. I know the Red Wedding is bad. Yeah, you shouldn't see it. It's terrible. Yeah, so I started it playing the yeah. game, and I wow. was like, who wow. are these? I, I almost want to like just drop the headphones <laughs> and walk away right now. <laughs> wait, so wait, wait, by the way, Attic has never been... I've been saying how I, much I hate uh, Game of Thrones on this podcast probably since we started the podcast. I've, I've heard you say that, yeah. Okay. I've never, I've never heard we, you say that. You've never heard it. I don't know if we can be friends. Okay, it's fine. We can discuss that, yeah, that, that as a Game of Thrones podcast almost separately. Yeah, we, can, we can do that later. Or at least at the break. Yeah. <laughs> uh, continue. So I, I was. he's like, okay, just let me know how the game is because I know you don't know anything about Game of Thrones. So I'm playing the game and everyone's laughing and I'm screaming about iron and winter or frost or something. And then it's all like, da, 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 the Red Wedding. And I'm like, that's the one thing I know about. Mm. I liked all of these characters that were on the screen for four seconds. You know, Red Wedding happens. Next thing I know, I'm in the forest and something about Ironwood and like stab some guy. I haven't picked it up since. I'm not really entirely sure I understand the world. Mm -hmm. you know? I, don't, I don't know the myth of the world, so I don't know how to act yet. Yeah. So even if I want to like role play in the game, I don't know what a air quotes good character is or a bad character. Like, does a good character stab somebody? I oh, don't know. The news, the uh, the story there is that all the characters are bad. Yeah, there's no good characters. Yeah, everybody's terrible. And by the way, it does it does bear some resemblance to Age of Decadence because I feel like. The more people that I meet, obviously, the, that guy was like, I'm being nice. Come buy my things. Stab. Yeah, that's that's kind of how so. I felt in, um, what do you call it, in um, Game of Thrones. Like, this one guy's like, here's the secret thing. You can't tell anyone. And then every person I run into, it's like, fourth conversation option. Tell this person that thing you weren't supposed to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, someone comes up to me like, hey. I heard you know something you're not supposed to know. And I'm yeah. like, what? how do you know that? How do you know that? No one else was there. We were alone in the forest. Was I mic'd? Like, what was going on? <laughs> there was that, that one guy. He's testing you. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. He's so, telling everyone you know. So once I, I got through that ordeal, it's just like, there's a thing, and it's going to happen. The guy's like, yes, this is true. I'm like, that That was it? That, that's my reveal? <laughs> and then it cuts to the next character that I'm playing. And I'm like, I'm, I'm done. Oh, I'm done yeah. for now. Yeah. I'm going to just wait for Wolf. Which Wolf leads is me so, yeah, Wolf is so good. to the other game. All right, what else? Skylanders four. Okay, this Ooh. is the this is one of the reasons I have you on the podcast. <laughs> I'm, I am baffled by that. As a, I am as baffled a as well. Yeah. Okay, so I Please. love platformer games, like old platformer games. Um, Voodoo Vince is still my favorite platformer of all times. You can start a jazz band. You can nice. change time. At one point, you have to make a gumbo, so you have to do that like fighting a giant shrimp. You mm -hmm. have to like go to a sausage factory and play Incredible Machine with cute animals. Which you run through the sausage factory. Oh, well, I, I, oh I, I got that. <laughs> yeah, like Voodoo Vince is a great game. So I, th I think of that as the apex of my favorite platformer of all time. Um, the original Xbox had a lot of weird ones like Voodoo Vince, uh, Blinks, uh, Munch's Odyssey. Oh, Blinks yeah. I yeah. think Jonathan Blow worked on Munch's Odyssey. Hmm, I found that fun out. Fun fact. I stalked him online the other day to find that out. <laughs> 
He was like, stop it. (laughs) It was more like, stop it. Yeah, stop it. But um, so Skylanders, what I love about it is that it feels a lot like, I I, I don't mean this in a bad way, like Kid Diablo. It's like, it's really fun because you're running around, you're hacking and slashing. I see you have like uh, Champions of Norath over there. So you you like the plundering. That's actually the new, the second Champions that Kinsey and I are going to play for the podcast. Champions of, I always forget the name of it. Atticus, use your eyes. No, I, Champions I, Return I have, to Arms. I Return to Arms. Glasses. Also, I believe, was made in Seattle. I, th- I think it was made by the studio that made Shadow of Mordor. I can't confirm I'll that. I'll look it up later. I, I think it was either Monolith or Snowblind. Yeah. Or Champions games are amazing. I love those games. They, they were a lot of fun. We played those a lot in college. Mm-hmm. The Fallout so, one was freaking amazing. They were. Oh, yeah, yeah. They oh, had yeah. The, the Rad Scorpions and uh-huh. stuff. Uh-huh. That was great. I mean, that game, I kind of feel... Brotherhood of Steel. Brotherhood of Steel. Pardon, Brotherhood pardon Steel. me. I <clears throat> feel like it bastardized Shadowrun a bit. Almost... Like a little bit because it was all like rad scorpions and half naked women. Like that was that was that game, right? It was over the top, but it was yeah. A, it was. It was. I, I feel like if if you were to take they Shadow, it down. I almost said Shadow Run. I get it all yeah. in my head. I get, uh-huh. exci- I get excited. Uh-huh. So I put, you like put Fallout in a pot, and then you like you let it simmer for like three hours, and I feel like that's what Brotherhood of Steel was. It's well, uh, that's, like, it, it, it's, it's the good, same word. Good. Champions of Norath takes Dungeons yeah. and Dragons yeah. and boils it down to a hack and slash. With, with some Cruncher. Which, which, which isn't bad, which isn't bad. No, which, yeah. by the way, I always talk about Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Oh, that was a fun That game. was a great one. And that's a great fucking game. And so it's good. that same kind of thing that goes in our brain and kind of, you know, juices up of us up about, like, I'm going to, like Diablo, I'm going to go do this thing and get these levels and, and get this loot. It, it's, it's a I don't fun um, free to play term compulsion loop. Ooh. Ooh. First. A term that was on the podcast ever. Com- yeah, I'm going to say that all the time. <laughs> compulsion loop. I'm in a compulsion loop. Right. Constantly. Exactly. Exactly. That's a good band name too. Compulsion loop. Uh, we are compulsion loop. Yeah. Right. And it goes. Yeah. Like yeah. our beginning. Yeah. 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 Compulsion loop. <laughs> Wait, we are compulsion loop. We are compulsion loop. Compul- the yeah. three of us are compulsion loop. I like Wait, this. can you be? Are you gonna be German or something? <laughs> I don't always be German. Okay, Schnell. And I'm I'm, I'm gonna be Southern. So we're compulsion loop. I'm the uh, programmer of the some of the sound effects. This here is. Uh, I'm only a mouse. What's your name again? I'm simply the mouse. Oh. I'm a mouse. That's him. <laughs> I don't even. And then we got over here. Um, uh, je parle en français aussi. Je peux parler seulement en français. I, none of us understand what he says. But he also does music with us. <laughs> See, I told you. It's almost like he's the guy from the Police Academy films. You remember them? Michael Winslow. Yeah, he's like Michael Winslow. <laughs> and sometimes he talked like regular English, which is weird because I thought he was French. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we are compulsion loop. What are you going to say, German guy? I do believe that Michael Winslow is a local here in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you have like the fun factoids about the location of Seattle. It's kind of weird, but I do like that. I think my southern accent is changing a little bit. <laughs> so I think I'm... Accents are hard. Yeah, they really are. Yeah, I gotta watch out for the dorksiders and the slackics and gargiles. I wish I could do Cockney, and because <laughs> all I got is oi, governor. That's Let, it. I'm glad that's his word. We, you, it's you, you fro- wish... Frog in the toad? Is, is that the what? road across the road? Frog in the road? Frog in it. I don't know how to do I, that. I don't know. I... Everything I do turns into Indian, though. <laughs> At some point, I'm like doing something. Give me hands up. It's fine. <laughs> then we're just talking the talk right here. But I'll say stuff, and I'll be like, oh, doing the voice, and I did do it, but it, do it, and it goes right to Indian. I can't. I don't know why. Maybe I should do that as a character. Be, be constantly <laughs> slipping into Indian guy. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't know. Yeah, the whole triage. Okay. Um, yeah. So where were we? Moving back to uh, alliances. So, so you said alliance, which is perfect because that takes me back to a game that I loved, which was just Diablo, completely based on setting, which was Marvel Ultimate Alliance, mm-hmm. oh, which yeah. was the same thing. It's like you go through this place, you end up at the underworld, then you go through space, which is basically like the. I forgot the name of it entirely. Anyways, it was a great game. I loved it. Which leads me back to Skylanders. Right. So it does have a bit of that pay mechanic where you're like, there's a character. He's like eight bucks. But each one of the characters has a different move set, a different skill tree. They play a little different. And um, because your characters are good for one use in a level, like once they die, they're dead for the level. Mm-hmm. So if you're playing a bigger like campaign level and you're like, okay, I got to go through here. I got to like fight these guys. Got to fight this boss. I got to make sure to have enough guys to do it. And then, you know, I have 59 guys on my bookshelf and I have them arranged from lowest level to highest level. You, you do indeed get a little, a little dude. Do you actually oh. scan your guy? No, so the way that your, your guy actually contains all his level data. So basically what happened was my friend was all like, hey, buddy, first one's free. So for my, oh. for my birthday one year, he shows up with like $150 worth of like Skylanders, drops at my place and he's like, 
I want you to play with me sometime. And I'm like, okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, whatever. And we went over to his place. We cracked open the Coronas. We sat down and I had like a big guy, uh, what was his name? Tree Rex or something like that. And then a little guy called uh, like Shroom, Shroom Boom, which is like a little mushroom guy. He uses a, a slingshot. And it was so fun because the characters, they have like all their just different ways they talk. They react to things. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm a tree. <laughs> Don't mess with the root. And other weird things like that. Um, all the ca- the voice actors are like voice actors from like um, like American like uh, anime and like cartoons and stuff, which is pretty cool. I think Fry from Futurama plays Shroom Boom. Nice. Uh, what's his name? Kevin Michael Anderson, who does like all the char- like deep voices for like anything. Who's on Clark's a bunch. Like, mm. Is in the game. And one of my personal favorites is uh, I forgot his name now. The guy who plays uh, Zim off Invader Zim. Oh, nice. Invader Zim. Is great. So he good. plays the main um, yeah. enemy, which his name is Chaos with a K. And basically, yeah. he says Doom. You can take a shot every time he says Doom in the game, honestly. Mm. He's like, I have all these Doom things. We're going to do Doomy things to you. And I'm like, this. he, he is literally just playing himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, was it? Uh, it's still Zim. What's yeah. his name? Uh, Kronk. Uh, Patrick Warburton, the tick, is in the game. Uh, okay. He plays like your guide. Um, so explain to me this, though. You were mentioning and referencing Diablo. Like, do you go up in levels then? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I was going to get to that. So each one of your yeah. characters maintains a couple things. You have equipment that you can pick up, things like hats. Hats are for stats. So it's like one of those things where it's like, I have a hat, I can put it on, it'll make me like faster or stronger, more critical hits. Um, you have areas in the game where certain element types do better. So there's like eight element types, um, like water, fire, ground, air, life, uh, light, dark. It's like Pokemon, right? And um, so there's a boost to that kind of stuff. Um, so you can have a hat. Now you can have other trinkets that give you bonuses. Um, and your characters will level. They have skill trees. They have, um, most of them only have two paths. So they have like five or six moves they can learn. Oh, sorry, five or six upgrades they can get. Then it'll um, do a path either on like either their um, like the Y button or the B button, depending which direction you want to boost your attacks. So it'll mm-hmm. be like, you might have a character like, um, I think a cool character, like the, the Shroom Boom guy that I was talking about earlier. He has a thing where he can like make his slingshot like the uh, the bullets can bounce, which is like one art uh, path he can go down. Or maybe there's another path where he can like make mushrooms rain from the sky, and it's like you don't really want to you, you can't boost both of them because they're just different paths. It's yeah. kind of ridiculous. You have um, the characters from Swap Force where you can have like one top on a different guy's bottom, so it's like I have spider legs, so I can like climb up walls and stuff. But I also have like. Uh, vampire old timey boxing dude up top so I can like bite people and then punch them repeatedly. I, okay, there's so many things you're saying I don't understand. The first thing and, <laughs> and the last thing you said was old timey vampire dude. I don't yeah, get it, but I love vampire it. dude. Yeah, I love whatever that means. Yeah, that that yeah. image was he's, good he's for fun. me. He's fun. So his top half yeah, allows him to punch. He's part of the undead uh, classification and then um, back in Swap Force, the bases unlocked like other different mini games. So his base was a teleporting base. So there was like teleporting mini games you have to teleport around a maze and stuff. But the other nice thing about his base was that um, part of his skill tree, um, like early on, he gives you an extra life. So if your character dies with that, with those feet on, he comes back to life. But if you go down the life path, like the the rebirth path, he gets a second life, which was awesome. Like you'd be in a long boss fight and you'd be like, I need to put freaking death pants on. So you can change them in mid battle and mid. Okay. So if your pants die, like if your if your character, yeah, were, you just said that sentence. Pants by the way, die. yeah, <laughs> that sentence was said. If your, and if, continue. Your, if your pants die, like you can't use those pants again in that fight. And that's how it was with all the characters. So each one of the games has like their own gimmick. So the first game was just what it was. It was they were rebranding Spyro, trying to save Activision, and that worked more or less. It's like worth like four billion dollars or something a year now. It's like the highest selling action figure right now, which is nuts. It's not even an action figure. They're not even really po- they're not posable. You like mm. break them if you tried to pose them. So then there's a second one which was called Giants, and that added these new giant creatures that could do like feats of strength. So you have to pull down like um, ropes to make a bridge, or if you need to uh, knock down a tree or something like that. That's what the Giants were good for. They were slower. They could bash through things. Um, you didn't really. Need to, there was like explosives you could use to break through things, but if you had a giant, you could just punch through it. Let me let me ask a question because I I, I, uh, I might be more confused. Than when I started, <laughs> okay. Um, but a lot, I will, a lot has been said. A lot has been said, but um, I get that it's definitely about yeah switching up your characters and different types of characters and seeing all the kind of permutations of mm-hmm. of how they interact with this world. But what so what is said goal? What is okay, so goal what is for like say I start a new game mm-hmm. and I bought a one of the action figures. By the way, this will never happen. But if I did. 
Um, yeah. And I shouldn't say that because who knows? But um, once I you get a DS, I'm getting you the DS version. It's like forty Jeez. bucks. You're gonna have it, and then it and comes I can with... scan out my new DS because it has that scan mm-hmm. NFC mm-hmm. thing. So I, I get the new DS, mm-hmm. and I have the NFC, and I scan my little character. Mm-hmm. Of course, that'll be a little different. But is there a end game? And yes. is there so there's basically levels and an end game? Yeah. So there there are actual stages in the game. Um, I'm probably gonna use. Uh, probably swap force is a better example of what's going on so you have like your normal hack and slash sections you have your normal platforming sections Mm -hmm. you have sections where like you'll hop into like a turret shoot stuff down you'll have like these weird cinematic sections where you're like riding in the back of a tank and you're blowing things out of the sky while other stuff's blowing up everywhere like set pieces set pieces yeah yeah. like it it definitely is um a nice throwback to a lot of those old platformers i think the first um skylanders game i didn't play it I didn't know about it. The Giants was the first one I played, and I was like, this is a pretty cool game. The graphics aren't where I want them to be, because I'm just nerdy like that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sit down and stare at like a figure that I just paid eight bucks for. I want them to look awesome. Um, when Swap Force came out, they changed for this more cinematic feel to everything. So the levels were like in, like 90 minutes each or something crazy like that. They had Whoa. a checkpoint in the middle. and I don't think many Just people, in the middle? Just in the middle. That's crazy. That's garbage. So it's like, Especially I, for kids. I, think I, have, I like, know, I, right? I, um, the first couple games I played on like the medium settings, now I'm playing on hard because it's hilarious, and I have 59 guys. So if I have to go through all 59 in a level, it's just hilarious because you get to a door and you're like, "This is a water door. I need a water guy." My so last water guy. Are you guy literally died. picking up a toy? Yes. Action figure. I'm sorry. Yeah. So there's actual and portal. Putting them on. You to... put them on the portal. They teleport into the game. Right. But I mean, I didn't know you would be doing it mid game. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pick up a bunch of guys and need well, them. For well, yeah, that's what things. I was talking about. Like with the pants and stuff. It's like I'm in an area pants. and I'm like, you, you're literally taking a part of figurine. Yeah, in, it's like in your mag- magnetic. magnetic Couch, yeah, I'm lifting it up, putting his top and then yeah. putting, putting his bright pants thing. on. Yeah, it, it get, the gimmicks s- get crazier moving forward. So I'm sitting there. So maybe I have a second guy like backup with different pants, different top. Mm-hmm. Like I need laser top. I need laser s- top. These are things. I need it's- laser top and I need snake pants because the snake pants are great. Hey, you yeah. hold down like whatever the um, the bottom button is. Like, I think it's slither. B on there. You're, you're slithering around and you summon up like giant serpents that come flying out of the ground made of bones. Like the now, game's weird. They have weird names. Like, now, is uh, speed enough of an issue that you need to have a caddy for this? Um, so Would it be helpful to have a caddy, like, I should say? In the game? No, physically on your couch. Like someone out. helping you with the pieces. Uh, uh, not like really. Atticus, quick, give me the snake pants. Yeah. So I'll admit, I need laser top snake pants. I'm a little meticulous about it. So last night I set up this, this whole sorting system where it's like from oh left goodness. to right. So I was like, these are my lowest level characters and my highest level characters. I'm, I try to play with my lowest level characters, get them like leveled up. Course, I might, I'm course. just going to say this, and I, no offense oh, at you're all. You're fine, you're fine. You're insane. <laughs> you, so you, this is the thing. It's the this thing that's is about the crazy. <laughs> I mean, I get the value, and it's really mm-hmm. weird and interesting, but I'm so still confused. You can play it with one character and not experience any of that other weird stuff. Like, right. If you have like one guy, like the... Um, I have this, os- this undead ostrich rider right. who's just awesome. And sometimes I sit down, I'm like, I don't want to play with anyone else. You just like, play I don't with care him. about this other stuff. Yeah. Like, there's a door only open by giants. I don't care. I, yeah. just, go, I just walk past it. Right, because in the level, there's a lot of areas where you can only get through if you have certain a, things. Certain so things. they fixed that in the most recent one. And I don't mean to just advertise Skylanders, but it's honestly like... Hey, I'm asking the question. I don't oh, get dude, it. Yeah, like I, like I said, I have 59 guys. They're like 10 to 20 bucks a piece. You can just guess how that goes. Um, <laughs> That's money. <laughs> so... In the newest one, the new gimmick is these trap masters. So they went back to the slower lumbering guys, like in the first game. They still make normal characters that aren't the, the gimmick characters. Mm-hmm. So they changed stuff. And the, the older games, you needed to have like a grass guy to get through a grass door. They they changed that in the newer game. So you just need a grass trap master to do it. And a lot of stuff is built around these trap masters. I'll explain kind of what they are. These are like giant dudes with magical weapons made of traptanium. Mm. And the idea is when they get close to something they can actually trap and put into a crystal, which is a separate object that you plug into your portal. Um, Holy crap, man. The, their blades start glowing and they the, go nuts. The dollars, the dollars, the dollars just, they're just flying leaving. away from a person. Yeah, they're going out of my wallet. Oh, so the collector mentality is about to go crazy in a second. So in addition to the actual physical characters you can buy in... Um, trap team they want to go two directions like you can buy the physical characters if you want if you don't want to do that it's fine but they also have these trap crystals so there's actual like fifth like i don't know somewhere between like 10 and 50 guys in the game you can actually capture like so digital digital, digital characters digital. you can actually capture and if you have one of these, times these crystals are like four bucks three or four bucks or whatever fucking hell you only need one for each element type so oh only one so of, like the eight, of the eight <laughs> element types oh uh, there's two new ones they just added at christmas 10, ten element types okay. That are only part of packs. They're like thirty bucks a piece. Anyways, so um, thirty-two dollars later, you have all these different types. But it, it's kind of hilarious because they're they're fun. The villains they have they're they're not full characters, so it's not like they're replacing the other characters. Like they don't have like complete move sets. Mm-hmm. It's usually just like this 
like a mid boss you run into, you can you can summon him down to help you out. I have two questions. You can ask me whatever you want. Uh, the first question is, <laughs> um, did you play? We talked. I think we talked about it before uh, Disney, the Disney Infinity. It, that's the only thing I played. I didn't ever play Skylanders, mm-hmm. but I played Disney Infinity, and it was that same thing where you buy one figure. Um, they have probably a lot less figures. Um, maybe they do now. They the, have more. now. There, there's tons because they have Marvel. I think Star Wars is coming oh, okay. coming soon. When I got it, it just came out, and I was like, "What's all the hubbub, bub?" And you know, I what I it was interesting was the building mechanic. So I don't think the Skyline have the building. It doesn't. Stuff? So one, okay. of the, one of the big things in um, Infinity, I haven't played it yet, but what, the big thing that I've read about it and when I've talked to people about it is the toy box. Yeah, and that's where you can take all your guys. Like they have campaigns for the different, um, I guess, stories. Like they have like their Marvel story, or they have their like. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nightmare for Christmas story or the Pirates of the Caribbean story, but they also have the big toy box where you can like make race tracks. You can like make big levels, kind of like that Minecraft feel. Yeah, that, and it's like I think they wanted to focus on the imagination in the building, but. and that and I think they did a really good job of that. That's what I it was interesting to me because basically almost like Lego games. The Lego games you play. Uh, everybody knows this when you play one. You go, I need to collect everything. I want you don't even know why. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so then the the Disney was that way where I would just hit things and these little orbs would come out and mm-hmm. they'd be things I could use in my toy box mode. So that's great. And that's fucking good. Like then I go, now that I've done enough of these little weird missions, I'm going to go back to the area and just look, finish my castle. <laughs> Oop, there it is. <laughs> he did it. It's okay. <laughs> It happens every podcast. I have these really great coasters, but for some reason, I decide to keep them, even though they do that, which they stick to the bottom of the glass. I did not expect that. It's I, okay. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to get you a New Year's gift of coasters. Hey, guess what? It's hard to find coasters. I'm going to get you coasters for your coasters, like rubber, like rubber co- mats underneath? underneath them and on top. Why not? Yeah, I'm just going to go to a bar and steal them. Okay, because that's the only way you can do it. Yeah, I want to look for coasters. I'm just going to go to a Chili's and get you <laughs> nice. a giant stack of them. Um, I, I do, don't think there is one in the Northwest. Anymore. I know. I want a Chili's. Isn't Chili's the one with queso, the, that cheese oh, bean dip? You yeah. can get... That's, queso I'm, at the Matador I'm, if you really wanted to. Yeah, I don't know that's if you want. okay. I'm from Texas I've been in the Matador. Queso is important. Queso is important. Anywho, we're way off the subject. <laughs> but the point is this: Disney Infinity. We are Disney's Infinity's okay. It's interesting because the building mechanic. I'll bring that one back in a minute. Skylanders <laughs> confuses me still. I get parts of it. I like snake pants. Definitely like the punching vampire thing. Mm-hmm. And I still don't know what's happening. But I probably will. Buy it so I know what the hell's going on. It's, it's, a, hack, do, it's a hack and slash. I do have to say, yeah, I still don't understand even like when you say hack and slash, it is like Diablo where you were running around well, fighting. I, I'd of, say it's it's, it's more like Disney of, Infinity where you're punching things, right? Yeah, I mean it's a beat 'em up, right? It's, it's a three D yeah. beat 'em up. The, the, jumping didn't exist until the until Swap Force, mm-hmm. but it wasn't really affected. It, you didn't really need it in Trap Team. They've made jumping more a part of the thing. The older characters don't have jump moves really. Like they can they can attack mid air, but the newer characters have things that build around that. And that's the cool thing. Each character is its own move set, so it's like. You can have the base game. You can play with those characters, whatever. Maybe you get bored of them. But if you have another character, like I have this guy named Blades, who's a dragon, and the way he works is he's, his wings are made of blades. So yeah, his, his jump attack sprays the ground with blades, and I'm like, that's cool. But when he's on the ground, he can swing with his wings. But the, if he hits those wing, those blades that are in the, the ground, then those fly out like shurikens. Wow, that's it seems really involved in the fact that like they, they built for all those uh, eventualities. Each character is built a little bit different. Yeah. So which is kind of neat. I have a crocodile hunter. He's literally a crocodile, and he's a hunter. Think about it. They made a movie about that. Crikey. Yeah. But I, I, that ain't a knife. That's not, that's, that can't do accents. No, that was bad. We're going to take a quick break. That is fascinating to me. <laughs> I'm still confused, <laughs> but I think uh, I'm, I think our listeners at least are a little more educated. In oh, yeah. As for chilies, the there is a um, trappable villain in the new one that actually is a chili pepper. Ooh. Chili pepper. He's a cook. Fun. He's a Cajun chef. Now take the chili pepper and put some snake pants on him, and then we talk. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> we're going to do a quick break and enjoy this music that sounds like electronica stuff, and we'll, we're going to eat some pizza, and we'll be back with uh, the news. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 Wait, we are. Com- what, what's our name again? Uh, c- uh, compulsion Loop. Compulsion Loop. We, we are Compulsion Loop. loop, 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 loop. We are Compulsion Loop. loop. Why well, change my accent again? New some Compulsion Loop. 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 Just your German accent. I think he's saying loop in German. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, good golly.
We're going to do an experiment. We're going to eat pizza on the podcast. I'm sure everyone's going to love that. That's disgusting and amazing. I think um, it's great. I think it already fails as a suit. I think it might just be disgusting. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. We don't have much time, and we got to record the rest of this podcast. No, especially if you do it that way. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to say something. Mm-hmm. Oh, away from the mic. Like, uh, what's it but? Um, Chocolate rain. Yeah, yeah Tezande. Yeah, you move away from the mic. That's mm-hmm. it. We'll eat the pizza away from the mic. All right, we'll try that. Chocolate. It's not chocolate rain. It's pizza rain. Yeah, that sounds gross. I don't think I want pizza. I, no, I do want pizza rain. Do you want Do you want it to rain pizza? Yeah, no, that sounds disgusting. Yeah, it would hurt you. And especially if it was hot, it would burn. Yeah, it would yeah. like burn the top of the top of your mouth, which is actually the top of your head. Or just your head. Yeah. It's coming from the I mean, sky. Yeah, I don't I don't picture them falling necessarily if flat as a plane. I picture was was them cloudy with a chance of meatballs? Was that was that was that yeah, was, that, that, was that, that was that what that was? I Maybe. Do, it pretty much. That I mean, movie okay. that movie not too bad. Bill Hader's in it. Oh, Bill Hader, man. He's yeah. a nice police officer. He's also a fucking awesome comedian. He's funny. Skeleton that, Twins was really good. That movie made me not want to watch it because it wasn't the same as the book. Oh, okay. It was based on a book? Yeah. How'd you feel about the lore? Are we on the air? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, how do you feel about the Lorax? I don't think I watched the new Lorax either. It's great. You put batteries in trees. There's batteries in... Well, that that's an idea. You just sold him... Sold you on Skylanders. Him on the Lorax. Well, hold on. I'm on the Skylanders. I'm not... I like the snake pants. Snake no. Pants. So you know the thing that you said you weren't going to say where we said something off the air that didn't really happen? You totally said you were going to pick some up. I think I might have. Y- yep. You said you'd get them for cheap. I said I'd get them for cheap. Let's get into the news. Um, so Nintendo had a direct. Nintendo, Nintendo. Direct, And they talked about a lot of things that happened. And one of the things was that their new 3DS is finally coming out. And I'm so happy that I recently just picked up a 2DS because I knew that the new 3DS was coming. And mm-hmm. it is. February 13th. It's like hells of soon. That's that's very soon. It's like two weeks or three or, or a month. So pre-order now? I heard the what the Majora's Mask one sold out in like four seconds. Yeah, four seconds. <laughs> Three and a half seconds gone. Um, like, how you, special you, was that edition? Um, I think it's so special that if you touch it, the moon licks you. Ooh. Don't know how I feel about that. North America. You're a very uh, private individual. One ninety nine. It comes with that special nub. It's like a mini nipple. Do you not know about the nub? What's this nub nipple? Was that the additional the, the nub the that the they nin- had di- years ago? The nin- dipple? I don't know if they ever had the nub in the past. Like the but special nub that you attach it onto the device? No, 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 no. And it's not that nub. It's like a, instead of an analog stick, it's a nub. All right. Right? All and right. so the nub, it comes with the new system. And it's better graphics, and the 3D is better. It's got more of a You can, like, turn it. Turn right? it more. Yep. Yeah. So 200 bucks, February 13th, in new red or new black. I love the new black. Old black is so um, old yeah, black. Yeah. I'm, old black is done. So that's that thing. Pokemon Shuffle, this is a bigger discussion, but we'll try to make it small. I don't even know what that is. It's going to be a free-to-play game for the DS, like a match three game. A free-to-play? For the DS. uh, uh, So a uh, uh, a matching Pokemon game mm -hmm. for the DS. Mm -hmm. I I feel like a a free-to-play Pokemon Snap might have been better. Right. Well, Yeah, bring back Snap. Especially with a 3D tilty do what now? So so what what, what is Shuffle then? Do what now? (laughs) Yeah, it's a do what now. (laughs) Hey, to do what now? Uh, I'll bring up the article, and it says, Pokemon Shuffle is Nintendo's next free-to-play 3DS game. Uh, Nintendo has revealed Match 3 puzzle game for 3DS called Pokemon Shuffle, also coming out in February. And the game is actually available for free. This is new, by the way. People like Nintendo, we had a discussion at work, has notoriously not gone towards mobile. They've talked about it. They did a patent for Game Boy emulator. They said, like, hey, mobile phones, you can use our Game Boy emulator. But in general, they've not really tackled yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, phones. Yeah. So this is kind of it. It's, it's being compared to Candy Crush. And um, it should be compared to Gummy Job, which is a much better game. But anyways. Uh, it is. <laughs> Um, so much gum. Eat. So, you know, gems Dropping. replaced by faces of popular Pokemon. And pairs, players must line up these rows in three for them to disappear. Uh, but the thing is, I think they're going to add some monet- monetization in it, which is crazy because Nintendo doesn't do that. Can, can I pay for a Master Ball? And what does that do? I don't know that answer. I'm going to bet that Master Balls get rid of lines and then you get extra points. Cool. There can you I, go. Can I put, like, carbon and, like, lemonade on everything? Yep. Because I remember mm-hmm. going to, uh, what, Celadon City and then buying all that stuff. Yes. 
I'm just saying yes. Okay, yeah, it is cool. It's cool. That's what we decided. It's yeah, cool. that's so totally cool. It, it's in the game. I'm so confused by because that. Because it's cool, it's in the game. That's a thing. It is now. Um, just accept it. I'm. I let am. It be. No, let it wash over you. It's. It's, it's already. Cool. It's already over me. Say so what else we got here? I, I'm gonna walk over and grab a slice. I will shout back if I. Oh, hear please cool. go get more pizza because I'm sure everyone's really happy about us eating it. Um, lots of new amiibo news. Amiibos are the new uh, Skylanders, am I right? Are they reprinting any of them? Um, I don't know. It's not in this in this thing, <laughs> but I do know there's gonna be more of them. I know people are really excited, but like, hey, I don't. I never found that Luigi I wanted, but um, so Amiibos are a thing, and there's gonna be more of them. They announced it. Can, can I just say I want to pet Shulk's abs? You can. Okay, I, I don't want to, but I, I would. You just said if, it, if I had a figurine, I'd pet the abs. New games are coming out as well. Uh, Fire Emblem, a new Fire Emblem. Those are fun games. Those are generally pretty good. Will it good. have feet? Uh, the was Fire it, Emblem? The last one didn't have feet, right? What Was they it did, footless they, entirely? They, I don't think they had like really tiny feet. They didn't really... Sorry. Sorry. I don't know that answer either. You're asking all the questions I don't know. I feel like a bad journalist. I... Yes. Fire Emblem's coming out for 3DS. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, um... Two new DLC fighters for Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors. Okay, anyways. Oh, DLC Interesting fighters. thing. Here, let's check this out. Older Wii games are coming to the Wii U, which I think is interesting. Because, like, why not? Which seems silly that it would take this long. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, uh, and you don't have to go through the emulator to play that little boot directly. I think through the Wii U side. So right. You don't have to, like, mm-hmm. boot up the Wii to do it. Which I think is kind of cool. That's great. Why not? You Gal- know, why Galaxy not? Yeah, why hadn't right? they already done that? But that's exciting. Galaxy? Gal- Galaxy 2 is coming to it, right? Mm-hmm. Galaxy 2. I, um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Metroid Prime Trilogy, which is kind of hard to, to pull off, and that's actually a really cool one. I think I got that one the like whole 60 thing. bucks used, which is awesome that I don't, we don't... The last time I played it, we had to emulate it. Mm-hmm. That's weird. Right. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, those are great games. Um, last two things about Nintendo. Monster 4, um, the Monster 4 version of the 3DS is going to be out, which is interesting. Hey, can I back you up? What are those two new uh, DLC Hyrule Warriors? Oh, you're, you're okay. You're serious about that uh, business, I, all right? I, I, I like move. Dynasty Warriors, and I oh, like oh my God. Zelda. I love Dynasty Warriors. I'm going to say Have it you played again. Hyrule Warriors? No, I still haven't. I, then you would not, like, if you like both of those things, you'd like it. I know. I haven't, I haven't once I, touched I still want to play like the, the One Piece Dynasty Warriors. Like oh, the, the serious. Musou or whatever. I didn't need, yeah. That's, I think there's a Power Rangers one, too. Sorry. I, I love Dynasty Warriors. I love Dynasty Warriors. Love, okay, excellent. Yeah, no one, yeah. no one backs me up on that, dude. It's like the the Madden versus Capcom of hack and slash. Yeah, we call it chopping at my house. Yeah, yeah. And you get the Orochi games, and it gets even nuttier. Yeah, those ninjas. I never even got into the ninjas. Yeah. The two new characters are Young Link. Oh, kind of. Because they already had Link. Mm-hmm. And Tingle. What? Tingle? Wait, the little green the dude? The annoying dude? Yeah. I, I imported the Tingle game through like NCSX a couple years ago for the DS. It was weird and I think romantic. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. In a, an appropriate way. <laughs> Tingle! There's a, there's a Monster 4 edition of 3DS that's coming out. That's all I was going to say. Wait, do, do we know anything more about like there was like a. I heard about this at Evo, maybe, or and at PAX. Maybe it's just a myth. There's like a Tekken team making like the the Pokemon fighting game or something. Is that they a- just said that. I'm just past it. Um, oh, yes, oh, he's hot. editing. Tekken creator also appeared on the stream to announce a free to download Project Treasure. Is that what you're talking about? I don't know. Mm. Project Treasure. I'm clicking the link and it says Project Treasure. That sounds like Gunstar Heroes mixed with awesome. It says I don't get that game. I don't. It's game puzzles. That's not what you're talking about. No, probably no. I don't think that's what I'm. No. Here's here's the, something the other, that other Tekken guy. Here's something worth talking about. The Nintendo says they're not really gonna at this time. They're not gonna bring the smaller version of the new 3DS out. So a lot of people are kind of up in arms about that because they like some of us like the smaller version. Well, I'm, I'm American. I need the bigger one. Right. I mean, bigger hands. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. That has to. Yes, fit in front of me. I, yeah, I want to play this. Are but, they are they releasing the smaller version elsewhere? Um, well, in Japan, it's already out. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I think actually to, to to bring that point, I think there actually is other parts. Maybe Europe uh, is get yeah, Europe is getting both models. Mm-hmm. So just why not? Like why not it give you the option? It seems weird. You know what? I think no, I think no one here cares we, about that. I think it's after we canceled the uh, the Americans. Like got mad about the the cat girl in um, the new Tekken game. You and I just so? don't think the Japanese game developers want to cater to us anymore. Hmm. I, I think our they, fingers are too fat. 
And, That's probably it. And that the market share of a smaller version is not worthwhile. Yeah, well, everyone I know, like, who has Nintendo products ended up buying the XL when it came out. They bought the 2DS when it came out. Like, Nintendo could release the same product every week, and I know people at work that would be like, that's a new product, but it's the same product, Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, is is the new 3DS, like, is it it's just called, like, the new 3DS, like, Apple names their products? Is yeah, it, I think it's the new 3DS. Mm -hmm. So, can I use new 3DS games on my old 3DS? So, here's the thing. You can use 3DS games, old 3DS games, and new 3DS, yes. But the new 3DS is going to play new 3DS games, but you can't play on your old 3DS. Is it called new 3DS? I think. It is, yeah. It's yeah. just called new 3DS. Yeah. This but is and new 2DS. But you can play, like, new or not. games that you can't play. You know what I mean? Like, better graphics. Like, the, there is a little bit of a uprising kind of okay, better yeah. thing there. So Are we getting a new 2DS? A, a new, I don't no, know new, about that either. New, new, new I saw an em I you saw, did? I saw, like, a like an emblem for it. Okay, so I'm just going to say it again. New DS. A nude, nudes. N nudes. Nudes. Nintendo's I, I, new TDS uh, designs are straight out of the 90s, is what the internet says. I like the oh yeah, there's yeah. the, the see-through kind where you can see the circuit board. Oh, that's, Play it loud. That's nineties. That was a thing. Remember? It's like, mm -hmm. yo, check this out. This is the inside of what you have. It's electronical. It's electronical. Play it loud. Yeah. Get that's, in the game. Get in something. Nintendo <laughs> did some things. Okay, here's the last thing I'll say before uh, we're done with Nintendo. This is a topic for a discussion. We'll never be done with. And uh, one of you guys can talk about it while I can eat this rest of this pizza. Okay. As in, I'm literally going to say a sentence here. Okay. Like I'm reading. Here we go. Okay. Reading sentences. Yeah. Here go. we go. Okay. As Nintendo's 3DS enters its fourth year on the market, it faces a nagging question. How many people really need a specialized handheld game system in the age of ubiquitous smartphones? Go. I buttons. Think, buttons. Yeah, that's a buttons. Real, I think that, buttons it. are the answer. It's honestly, it's buttons. You don't want to use buttons on a smartphone. Yeah. Er ergonomics could be part of that button question uh but i was also going to say it's a very good question because you know smartphones and pads and surfaces mm -hmm. and the like are certainly doing better at gaming now than they have been in the past i'm, I'm gonna go from another angle it's a cultural and philosoph philosophical um shift as well it's like if you lose the buttons like the d-pad and all that stuff you lose the games that use that and it could be argued maybe the, the time for those games is over maybe they're for consoles but I don't think consoles need to be fighting the mobile fight for us. Mm -hmm. I felt weird when I played Jetpack Joyride on my control on my PS3. I was like, "This is a great game," but like, it's like a free to play game on my PS. Why am I playing? Why isn't this on my phone? Right? Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think. Yeah, why do I have be, buttons for this? I don't think consoles like. I mean, Peggle's great. I don't really need to have it on my console. That's a whole other thing. But like the phones, like the touchscreen, the um, the buttonless interface. That's a whole different design paradigm. Like. Swiping was going to be the new like thing, and then Apple took over swiping for everything the console, the console, the mobile device does. So you can't swipe anymore. So you're basically type uh, tapping and then like occasionally dragging, and you can't really you can't play Street Fighter on that, right? So like that game would go away. You can't really mm -hmm. play Dynasty Warriors on there. That would go away. You could play shmups if you don't mind your hand covering. So it's a whole different type of game. So like, I, th I think it's not just we're seeing the death of a handheld device. We're seeing the death of a whole genre of handheld games. Like you won't have games like Gunstar Heroes. You won't have games like uh, Super Robot Wars or like even Mario on there. It just doesn't make sense. Like you might have some weird like Mario Infinite Runner, but I just play Mario too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then why why are people? Getting Game Boy emulators and playing those things on their it, smartphones it's because they're not even playing they the do games. work they, they, to they have work. two buttons. But I think nostalgia is also part of it. Like, yeah, when you see the YouTube videos all the time. You have people who are like playing Metroid for the first time. This game is brutal as hell. It's like I don't like when Nintendo releases Metroid I, for like the hundredth time. It they're not selling to the person who's not played Metroid. Like that person's going to play it on an emulator probably. The person who's going to buy it is the person who's like, I remember Metroid when I was a kid. Like either I played it at my buddy's place or my mom didn't want to buy it for me. And now I have Metroid and now I'm playing it. And I'm like, God, this game's difficult. I like that character's voice by the way. Oh uh, yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. yeah, look, totally and yeah, no, totally. Yeah, I mean the Nintendo remix stuff looked cool, but that's that's another thing. It's yeah. Like, it, the point is, I think that. Unfortunately, I think finances are what's going to drive this, and people are going to be put in a position like, do I buy a smartphone or do I buy this mobile thing for my gaming? Right? Like, not not everyone has the dispensable income. So we'll say a, a large subset maybe. Has Although, isn't aren't but, phones essentially free? I mean, like, well, phone, so phones are plans. subsidized. Okay, so let's, let's so in the world that everyone does have a phone, then it's like the game becomes the novelty, like the gamepad becomes the novelty, right? 
So it's like, do I need that if my phone can do it? So it's like, just by sheer negligence and apathy, we'll lo- I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> I think I'm actually gonna cry. I never wanted to accept the well, fact that games are dying. I'm gonna help you out. Watch this. I don't, I don't think that's. I, I, no, no, game no, 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 no. Sorry, that's not I just mean it's like it, you're watching a di- like the last dinosaur. Like we'll say Sinclair. He's We're, walking down the street. He's going to the gas station. He's like, just turn me into oil. Just to turn me into oil. So a thought I was having earlier today was about the Wii and how. When I got the Wii and haven't played it in, what, five years now? It's been sitting... Dusty. In, yeah, dusty next to my computer. We all thought that it was going to change everything. Mm-hmm. And the, the way that we played video games was going to really get off the couch. And no, I got to the point where I was playing Wii Golf, sitting on the couch, like, contorting myself and do, hurting do, my doing shoulder. Doing a waggle. Yeah, exactly. Just to, <laughs> to get the motion right, but, you know, whatever. That was but, a good hand motion, by the way. Thank you. I, I've been practicing. Um, <laughs> That's five a- years ago. <laughs> or all my life. Ayo! But it didn't really do anything. It yeah. didn't, like, you know, there's some tilting to a PlayStation controller these days. And yeah. mm-hmm. does the Xbox One actually have, like, a little touch? No, it's it, I mean, it's all, like, weird gimmicks. Like, I really liked the, like, the Tenkaichi Budokai games. Because I was like, I'm Frieza. I'm going to raise my hand in the air. I'm going to raise the death ball. I'm going to mm-hmm. pull my hands back and shoot a command man. Like, that stuff was cool, but like at the end of the day, you're like you're elbowing the dude next to you, so you can like unleash a fireball. But yeah, a- again, I mean, yeah. it, it's and a gimmick. The, and the connect, where it was like that's kind of a fun idea, but no one really wants to do those things unless, unless you're at a party and it's Dan Central yeah. and everyone's drinking and you're like, this is amazing. Yeah, and then so, it's awesome. And yeah. then it's awesome only then. But it's not changing game. Exactly. Yeah. Right. The connect yeah. was just weird and creepy, man. When I first got it, like it. When you first turn it on, it it tracks you, right? So mm-hmm. it's like, I mean, I know it's not creepy. It's not Big Brother. I mean, it's Microsoft, but whatever. It's following you around the room. And I, I immediately tweeted, I'm like, wow, the Kinect is following me around the room. Yeah. And then I get a message back from, like, Connect customer service. They're like, yeah, it was kind of weird when we noticed that, too. I'm like, what? You, what, what you what? noticed? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you yeah. watching me walk around my room, Connect like services? I'm putting pants on now. Robot pants. Uh, 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 snake robot pants. pants? Robot pants. snake, robot pants. snake, snake pants. pants? Yeah. Let me bring robot it back. Pants. Let me bring it back to the, the 3DS in that original question because this actually goes together with what we were saying or what i think what sean said uh these are two other sentences i'm going to read uh now the 3ds is slowing down he says i don't know where this article's from um i'm a terrible journalist <laughs> and it's no surprise sales of the device have Drink dipped up. from nearly 7 million units in the first nine months of 2011 to just over 2 million in the same time last year so only 2 million i guess since 2014 uh, of devices sold now, in general, there's about 45 million DSs out there right now, 3DSs out there. Compared to, like, the 80 million original Game Boys that well, were out there. Even the, well, the DS had, like, 150 million. So that surpassed the The 3DS is about 45 million, I think, right now. That's still not a bad market share. Especially. It's, not a, it's a great market share. It's 45 million people who can buy one game for $30. Mm-hmm. We were talking about this at work, actually. $30 or $40 times 40 million is a pretty great... And that's just one game. Yep. So we were doing the math, and we were like, Pokemon X and Y... Made like five hundred million dollars, you know, like so, like twenty million copies or like that's a lot of fucking money for one game. Yeah. So if you sell like I don't know a few different good games, because again, Nintendo has a problem with putting out a ton of titles. But when they do put out a ton of uh, titles, <coughs> first and second party only. <coughs> right. But when they do that first and second party only, they do make a boatload of cash. It seems they like do. on their on their on their perspective. I mean, that's ones. how they, they float the system alive. Um. My brain just stopped. So. Okay, good, because I have another sentence. Good. The other sentence is this. And this is, again, what I was going to say. It kind of goes back. Despite its struggles, Nintendo says it isn't worried. Gamers might play a game or two on their smartphone, which, by the way, I have like three that I like on my smartphone. Um, but when they have the time to play a game designed specifically for a handheld, there's no substitute for Nintendo. That, that's exactly how I feel about just about any game which is, is a good mentality it's like there is a time and a place for all of those it's like mm-hmm. like when i was sitting there the other day i'm like what how does tumblr work like what's the point of tumblr and i was trying to figure that out which is, which is back to this it's like if i want to play a game that uses like a action if i want to play gunstar heroes which why not go back to treasure it's a great game you mentioned treasure man i just oh, want to think about I treasure. Love treasure games it's like i don't want to play that on my phone i want to play that on a controller Preferably mm-hmm. with a good D-pad, not the Xbox 360, probably the one, preferably the PS3 controller, which is the most amazing controller ever made. Mm-hmm. I want to play on that. I want something that I can play that on. So that's like my MacBook on Steam or that's on, you know, the console. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you, you need to go play it where it's good. Play it where it's good. That's good. Play it where it's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I feel like that that is, um, it's just a really interesting 
moment where we have so many mobile games and we have so much ease of uh, access to because free to play. Mm-hmm. So anybody can literally be, you know, you don't read reviews on mobile games. You just go, I'll oh, just get it. You know, oh, yeah. even if Especially it's a dollar, if it's, if it's yeah. free and it's, if it's not rated two stars, right? If it's yeah, I'll, as I'll I'll say, as long as it has more than two stars, I'm good to go. Like yeah. two and a half, good. Two, yeah. like I'm not touching this. That's so funny because like back in the day, again, console games, you're like two stars, just average guy face in Game Pro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, but what, what's a Game Pro? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, how, no, 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 no. How, no. Many, how many years young are you? I forget. I uh, I was born in '87. I have one issue of Game Pro. It was about Sub Zero Mythologies. Interesting. I, I might am. have the the nine 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 issue about the Dreamcast launch. Nice. Which oh, I oh. we we looked it up. Me and Kinsey were talking that the th- Dreamcast launch was frightening to me. Dreamcast was amazing, right? Did it get burned by the Saturn and the CD at the same time? Ooh. I never walk, 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 Check this shit out, guys. Sorry. This is some real shit right here. <laughs> real. Talk. I think PlayStation Two came out after Dreamcast. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Fucking nuts. Because Dreamcast is amazing. It's a better um, system. Better system, better graphics by far. It had working internet. Yeah, it, I played NBA 2K on the motherfucker and played another person, another human being, and we played a great game of basketball that looked amazing. Shit, it, it Fantasy gave us, Star Online. Yep, Fantasy Star. It gave us um, Jet Grind Radio. I can never mm-hmm, get their names mm-hmm. straight. And what, Turbo Taxi? Or uh, Crazy, Crazy Taxi? Crazy, yeah. And yeah. also Virtual Fighter that was in the arcade yep. and then was on the... And you're like, what the fuck, really? Mm-hmm. You have Soul Calibur. You have um, freaking uh, Hydro Thunder. You had... Um, God, I love that console. Oh, they, they also started Space Channel, Samba to Mi Amigo. But I can't believe it came out before the PlayStation 2. I still don't. I feel like it's not real. Like, I feel like that's not a real thing. So I'm, I'm going to say something that's just going to make me sound like an idiot. But yeah. I was watching the, the Awesome Games Done Quick the other day. Mm-hmm. And someone was playing through Vice City. I'm like, that game looks like poop. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> graphically, it looks like poop. Like, mm-hmm. I, I thought back to the Dreamcast. And I'm like, I remember playing Toy Commander. I remember playing, like, uh, what, Vampire Chronicles? Vampire Savior? That's uh, Darkstalkers. Like yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. playing this console Dude, and just a, loving There it. was a Berserk game that was freaking great, yeah. too. I think there was also a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on there. Oh, yeah. It might have been on the Saturn. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't remember. the whole era blurred together. But the, the Dreamcast had a lot of good games. And I don't know. Well, we, we don't know. The, the, the answer is we don't know about mobile and 2DS. But we do know that both of them will be around for a while. Because yeah, I think so. the yeah. new 3DS is coming out. Mobile's not going anywhere. Yeah. And I think everybody should just... Chill out and, and like both of them. Yeah. Well, and they're both good. I think that phone companies are going to start, like I just saw that Nokia is going to start putting out something more akin to their bricks, but in a smartphone, but that doesn't focus on super superior graphics and mm. screen resolution. It's going to be like, you know, this is a fucking smartphone. You I, can I, check your email. Mm-hmm. You can right. look at some photos. It's not amazing. It's not going to render things, but it's a phone. Yeah. Just yeah. do what does do, a, do a phone does, does a couple things. Yeah, it's not a S Galaxy eight hundred that's going to blow your socks off, but it's a fucking Which is, functioning piece of technology that you can get. Can, can you say that again in German? The the SS Galaxy. The SS, no, the like, SS I'm, I'm not going to go. There. No. I'm not going to go there. So hands, hands up. I'm hands, hands up. Hands up. Wait, wait, I don't know what this hands up thing is, but you both have been doing it all podcast. <laughs> no, he. I, does just, it mean, I like it. I oh, like does it. it mean you? you I think. I think. I got nothing. I got nothing. You washing your hands of it? Okay. Washing your hands of it. Well, then you've washed your hands a lot of things that are on this podcast. Here's an. I've been filthing them up. Three more stories I got. Okay, and then we'll be done. Microsoft drops his Xbox One price to three forty nine on January sixteenth. Which means when you listen to this podcast, it has already happened. Just, just about 350. It literally just happened today for you listening to the podcast. If it came, when you listen to it, it comes out on January 16th. 350 is good. That's not bad. That's that's less than 400. That's, that's less than 351. That's close to Carlos buying it is what that is. I uh, I might get, buy you a single Skylander if you do it. God, I'm going <laughs> to put, put, put it on your desk. Just like a elf on, be looking at my like an elf on a shelf type yeah. thing. <laughs> uh, where are all the steam machines? This is an article that was on Gizmodo, and I actually have to ask this question because I recently bought a PC mm-hmm. for Steam, mm-hmm. and I do know back in the day, which is like last year, people were real excited about these new steam machines. Oh, the Steam OS machines. The Steam mm-hmm. OS machines, right? The idea is this. If you've been living under controller. a tech rock, yeah, the, the craters you can you can nuzzle. I call it an owl. It looks like an owl face. <laughs> I like the idea of nuzzling craters. Just <laughs> somehow that's inappropriate. Here is the thing: um, they were supposed to be this kind of console that you could sit next to your television and play your PC because essentially all it is is a computer yeah. and it has Steam OS on it, and that's the default 
that you would go when you turn on your computer. Mm-hmm. It would go into this kind of dashboardy Steam OS. And okay. then you could play your Steam games and have fun. And if you want, you could dual boot into Windows for some reason. But they are not out. Like, where the fuck are they? What was the, the, what the Alienware Alpha, the, like, $750 pseudo console thing? I, like, I was sitting there over the break. I almost bought one of those. And I was like, what's the price? Like, starting at $350. And I'm like, Wait, starting at Start starting like oh, start, and then you starting? had a couple of boxes where you're like, yeah, I need some extra RAM and yeah, a, it's an a Alienware. hard drive. Yes, like, I'll take one well, of those. To be honest, everyone's owned an Alienware computer, so I'm looking at it and I'm just like, yeah, this is 800 bucks. How is this better than a 700 dollars PS3? I don't know what's going on here. There, there's as part of this article, it says that's why Valve decided to delay Steam machines to 2015. Th- that. They decided. They they decided to delay it on account of. Well, it sounds it sounds like you're missing the. Oh, I mean, the, I'm missing the that. You're cu- you're cutting in halfway Thanks. through a statement. That's. Journalism <laughs> for the win. That's. I, I, but well, in gen- I, really, the point of that story is, and I will get to the that's, is that that actually Valve would made a decision. Like, how can you do that to other manufacturers? Be like, no, you can't. D- you can't release them in Well, no, they, they haven't released the Steam OS. The Steam OS is still... Yeah, they have. I thought they did. I mean, you've got a dashboard you can play with in your PC, but there's well, not... No, an... I think, I think, that, I think the, they, they did show it off at Steam, the Steam yeah. days. I think they did have some of the controllers on hand. We too. were. I was well, at but, an uh, event you, and I saw it. And... But is it... But is it at release? You know what? Can think, you download the Steam OS to install it. on a machine? I, I don't know. I mean, let, me, I don't know. let me read words from a page. Okay. And my questions. sources at PC manufacturers have claimed Valve wasn't keeping up the lines of communication, leaving them more or less in the dark about when those necessities need, would need be ready. Again, necessities, we don't know which those are. But basically, it sounds like they're not helping out with the NVIDIA graphics stuff, the Wi-Fi stuff. They're not, they haven't been really responsive to, hey, mm-hmm. these manufacturers are trying to make these machines, Wait. which makes it sound like they're kind of like delaying it. Okay, I'm going to throw this out there. So last time I heard someone throw claims like this, this was the people at Two Human throwing claims at Epic. If this ends with Two Human being taken off the shelves a second time, I will s- cry. That'd be weird. Why would we? Why would we pull that off the shelves? I, it got pulled off. You don't, you don't remember the lawsuit? They were like, blah blah blah. Epic isn't delivering, and it ended with like all like the Two Human team can never make another game with the Unreal Engine. Like Ooh. all their games were pulled from sale. And like I think they were um, validated. Two Human is not that bad of a game, people. I, Everybody's got to calm the fuck down. That's an okay game. I'm gonna say something that I, I don't know if I can say. Well, I just said it's an You're okay game. It. If it's anything so, well, I was that. waiting for the my console builds to build at Forza. Um, I played a lot of Two Human and Mortal Kombat Two. Please, it was amazing. <laughs> Two humans, not that bad of a game, people. I, I, it was supposed to be like an eight-player co-op that turned into like barely a two-player co-op. Mm. But I mean, apart from the Valkyrie showing up and rescuing you every time you died, taking like two minutes, that was weird. And the the weird eternal darkness moments that like were weirdly implemented and the bizarre puzzle. You could you could. I felt like you were a really fast duck with a gun. Yeah, I mean, if you run around, you're hitting. That's a weird way to say it. <laughs> you're running around, you're hitting things, you're leveling up. I mean, it, it was it, it, it had worked. fun moments. Yeah. Um, back to your thing about Alien Alienware. They did release Alienware Alpha. Yep. I guess that came out in uh, Christmas. Five hundred dollars and fifty. Starting at five fifty. Starting at. Oh, it said launched as five fifty. Okay. At. Uh, and then I buy power, which is the thing, by the way, because I was shopping for PCs and they're everywhere. I buy power is the I thing. I buy power. Yeah, I buy power. You buy power. Um, they built a Steam machine as well. So, anyways, I'm going to leave this alone. Listen to the comments. Please leave a comment if you've bought a Steam machine or you're interested in one. I think that the concept is cool because I play the Steam all the time now with my new PC, mm-hmm. and I'm literally going to buy a 20 foot HDMI cable. To run across my fucking living room to go to my television. If I didn't have to do that, it'd be pretty great. I, th- I think once the Steam OS is up and running, you can just... Atticus like, is looking. He's like, is telecast. that 20 feet? It is. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some interior decorating for you, and we're just going to... We're going to move the TV. We're just going to move everything closer. around it. It's going to be great. But I can't, though, because then it's got... I got you. Okay. We're going to work this up. Hey, here's a couple other things. Um, PS4, Xbox One laptop was made. Someone made a laptop with PS4 and Xbox One inside it. That's amazing. So you he, can, it's a triple boot. You can boot to either of those. Two yes. Things? Yes. That's cool. I remember when those first started getting modded, like a long years ago, like the, the older ones. Yeah, but this—that's a lot of hardware inside one little 
machine. Just well, think about how warm your lap. It's just will the be. one, the one, <laughs> right. the one bits of hardware. It's a whole bunch of software to make it understand. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. And also, you will have to put something underneath it because you will simmer or yeah. sizzle your legs. Yeah, you my, know, my buddy. He, anyone who does that probably doesn't need to be adding to the gene pool. So it's oh shit, hands up over here. <laughs> I'm putting my hands up for the first time on the podcast. <laughs> I'm just gonna. That's throw, awesome. I got, you know what? I'm I'm gonna bring it up later. My I like the I love the fact that you added hands up to the podcast because you're gonna listen to the next one and you're gonna hear us do hands up. I'm gonna hear hands up. I like hands up. So uh, it's just kind of you just get out of the problem. You're I like know, whatever Atticus said. I know. I'm I'm gonna stop being invited back. J- just imagine you were in the middle of a fight in Mortal Kombat X and you could put your hands up and get out of. Oh oh, oh sorry. He's oh. trying to do a segue up in this bitch. What? So here's what Sean wants to talk about, and we'll talk about it for one second. And then we'll have one, one more story, and then we're out. Sean wants to talk about Mortal Kombat X, which I also call Mortal Kombat Nine Two or Injustice Two. Hell, yeah. whatever. Which is the whole of the discussion. Atticus has a question. I'm, you know, I don't have any ideas about Mortal Kombat X. Have okay. You, do you know what Mortal Kombat is? It's a it's a fighting game. Okay. Do you know, do you we, know the we characters? Had, we had the cabinet in in the basement of my it's building a, until beautiful. like two months ago when someone took it away. And uh, by the way, I'm on board with the cabinet and the old school games. It's, it's yes. gone. So. It's gone. Yes. No, and that's sad. I'm, I'm sorry. I hope I hope someone is playing it in my apartment building right now. No, that would that'd be nice. That'd be nice. Here's the thing. So yes, okay, they, yes. I, I'm I'm familiar with the characters. Okay, cool. Uh, I will address those in a minute. I want to hear what this guy's got to say. Well, there's a lot of fatalities, as you know, in a video game of Mortal Kombat. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's, all, there's, there's also friendships. And there's friendships. Well, there used to be. But yeah, no, apparently there's some air quotes special stuff coming back. Yeah, because nice. I, I actually did like how... Oh, man. I'll say a positive before I say a negative. The positive was, again, Mortal Kombat, huge. It was massive. It was in the arcades. I lived in the arcades. Mm-hmm. I loved it, right? And I really enjoyed that idea that you didn't know what the fuck was going to happen after a fight. Yep. Friendship, animal ship, baby ship, or what the oh, f- I think it was called yeah. baby, right? Babality, yeah, babality, babality babalities. right? Oh. Animalities. Babality. Yeah. Animality. Fucking, Motaro. You, what is going on? Friendship? You just shake my hand after you beat me? What the fuck's that mean? Well, you could That's only, awesome. You could only do a friendship or a um, animality after a mercy. That is after you beat them savagely and gave them a little bit of health back. Well, then, uh, glasses up. Glasses and push to my nose. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, though, right? So I love all that concept. Yes. Interesting. Here's what I was saying before the podcast with Sean, <laughs> is that now you see the new trailer, and it's like, I am going to take your ch- this heart out of your chest and drink its heart juices down my throat. Via I- Kotal Khan. I'm just going to narrate what you're saying. Okay. Keep, keep going. I'm going to take your face off and put it on my face <laughs> for funsies. <laughs> it's just Nick Cage and John Travolta. I, know, I did face off. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I am going to take your entrails out, look at them, stomp on them for a bit, take a little small nap, come back, punch them a bit, and then take out your eyeballs and then suck on them like they're fun spoon. Lollipops. Jujubes. <laughs> Jujubes. It's like so ridiculous and gory that it doesn't make any sense to me. And like I was telling him earlier, I, it doesn't do anything for me. It's like the hotline. Maybe maybe it's like spiritual. Maybe it's like the hotline Miami approach where it's just ultra violence to the point where you're like, what? what is violence? No, what, fuck what that. They don't, they don't mean? even mean. They're not trying to make that statement. They're like, what's the craziest thing we could do? I know. Why don't you have him punch a guy's chest and his heart comes out and he fucking drinks that shit? <laughs> Why don't we do that? Hey, what? I just want to throw it out there. Uh, Kotal Khan, he's one of the cons in the game. He is actually either Aztec or Toltec, so he's actually performing a ritualistic He's sacrifice. doing a ritualistic. Okay, you know what? I give it up to him then. <laughs> he's, he's with his people. Why did we have to move past a guy doing the splits and punching you in the genitals? Okay, Why so can't that be enough? I like that. Can't be that. Can't so that be fatal enough? I like Most it. of the characters in the original games have died a couple times since then in, in the story because there's a story. Actually, the story, <laughs> the story in 9 is actually really good and it's going to continue into 10. Um, he's not in the game anymore, but his daughter is in the game because him and Sonya Blade had a kid. And now she's old enough to fight yeah. in, in the ongoing actually, tournament. It's like of Mortal it's like twenty Kombat. years later. So actually, because you don't know much about the game, characters have three different move sets, and you get to pick one before you go into the battle. So like, okay. you might be like, if you're Kano, you might have like laser eye form, or like cannibal form, or knife throwing form. Uh, like Raiden has his weird like. Did you ever play Guilty Gear? Yeah. Mm, yeah. So you know how game. like Venom can do all his weird stuff around like with the pool balls and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So Raiden can do that with electricity now. Well, see, here's the thing. With that. Nice. I'm glad you brought up Guilty Gear because that is a cartoony anime fighting game. I believe they're called Air Dashers. Right, and wow. it's a. Um, you put your glasses up when you said that too. <laughs> is the thing is that's cartoony. That's ridiculous. It's over the top. Yes. I loved Akira. That was ridiculous. I love mm-hmm. most a lot of anime. 
But when you have it just getting, again, more real, like, mm-hmm. no, but seriously, uh, did you see that I just zoomed in on your spine and it broke in four places? <laughs> That's pretty awesome, right? That's pretty fucking awesome. I know when I break someone's spine, I feel real good about myself. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. I don't give a shit. But you know, that's where they win. Okay, you know, I'm just that's gonna, where I'm that's just where start. Mortal Kombat went. They, what, what, they tossed their dice let's in just that go. Like all Mortal Kombat games. What was your favorite fatality? Across all I the games. I didn't care for the fatality. You didn't care. You, I like to do the you friendships like... and babalities and okay, animality, fine. the ridiculous stuff. They brought those back in nine, so maybe they'll be in the new one. I just, I just. Here's the thing. And by the way, you haven't seen the trailer. Uh-uh. When you watch I'm, the I'm trailer. Watch there is literally the guy jumps on this guy's face, and I wasn't joking about that. He like rips his face off, and then like drinks blood out of his. You know, he squeezes whatever something. Yeah. He brings his face. That's yeah. awesome. Is it? <laughs> well, so like the game gives you a certain like. Ugh. I think I think it's a level of I'm just old. like hyper brutality. You're just like, I'm roided out. I'm playing this game. Oh, and it's a fighting game, right? So like, I mean, I don't know. I like, don't get any of it, people. I'm um, excited. I, so I'm, I'm actually gonna, I'm going to Evo again this year. Last year I went a total of one and two. Mm-hmm. Maybe this year I will go one and two again. But I'm hoping to go with uh, Mortal Kombat and take some either Kotal Khan or Kano. All right. So. Hey, I, and the, I think the other thing is uh, I'm kind of over fighting in general, like the fighting game genre. When's yeah. the last time you like sat down and played one for a while? I don't uh, know. Oh man, I tried the PlayStation All Stars because it was on the PlayStation That's true. Network, oh, and it was uh, like you know it was like U- Smash. Uther Smash. Yeah, it was like Smash. See but now not. again, Smash I can get into. It's ridiculous. It's funny. No one's taking out someone's spleen. It just seems but like, fun. Like I said, Mortal yeah. Kombat went that way. Freaking what? Like yeah. ten years ago. I mean, I know like, there was spines coming. Bone out. Bone breaking action. I mean, Mortal Kombat is like. Go for it. No, I mean, I mean, I mean they, they at one point didn't they have the like semi real battle damage that they were they did, trying they did, to do, did. and it's like they still yeah, do that's, it. They still do it. That's the level that they went. Here's the thing, though. I, I know what you're talking about, especially because two or three or one of them, one of the guys literally took out the guy's spine. I remember that. Oh yeah, yeah. it was like Sub Zero does it in all the games. Okay, yeah. okay, right? He's just mean. Like okay, that. now he can freeze your spleen after punching. Sorry, <laughs> continue. Spleen, spleen damage. I'm going to literally show you the trailer after we're done here, uh-huh. and you will see the difference. Because here's the key. We're at better graphics now, right? We're yeah. pretty oh, damn yeah. good graphics. You have cartoony guy go, I'm going to pull your spine out. <laughs> You're like, hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And I was the same like guy. like Clay Fighter. I yeah. was the kid going like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, holy shit, that guy just knocked his head off. Dude, That's Clay funny. Was, Clay Fighter was When great. you have the guy go inside and grab the organ that looks just like the organ, and the guy seems like he's almost a little tear down his eye as you literally murder him. You know, it's like what you it's said about different. Age of Decadence. It's like that. It's just like right. you get into it, and you're like, these aren't these fun aren't people. These, fun. Are, these yes. people are terrible. Mm-hmm. Yes. But, right? but it's, it, it's fun. Right, yeah. so, and that's the thing. But, but do you see him drinking? He's wringing a face out. That's wringing. Awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> no, he's wringing out the face. This guy is going to buy the game. He hasn't even seen it. I'm going to show it to him, and we'll see. We'll see. By the way. I, I am horrible at fighting games. Um, the, the, the other thing I'm going to really quickly say, there's something similar, is that, and my buddy Danny O'Dwyer did an awesome video on this. You should go watch on the internet. It's about GTA V and the new first-person view. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard you can have sex in first-person. It's weird. That Ooh. wasn't where I was going with it, but yes, that is the thing you can do. Okay. But when you do violence in that game and it's first person, you feel worse because you're like, oh, fuck, I'm stabbing a lady in the chest with a knife. That's terrible in first person. Hear me yeah. out. This is what I'm talking about with the Mortal Kombat. Yeah, over the shoulder, okay, yeah, yeah. The, the, that the, guy there. The, the, more get, the more it gets closer to what is real, yeah. the, the least I want to be involved with it, right? Like Lisa, which we talked about earlier, which I still think people should go play. There's the, like really gory, you know, mutilated people who got killed from a murder thing, mm-hmm. but there's 16-bit, and mm-hmm. it does fucking make a difference. There's a bit of a disconnect. Yes, exactly. And so with Met, and again, Mortal Kombat is like so hyper-real. not well. It's so hyper real and it's already ridiculous. So it's the least of this. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So I'm not going to be like just literally damning it to hell. It's ridiculous, and I won't play it. But I think anything we get closer to that, that's when I get on my soapbox and I get real mad because I'm like, if you're a human being, you should not really enjoy like literally mutilating other human beings. And when you can, when it gets close to real, then it gets weird. So what would you feel about the hyper violence in Hotline Miami? Again, not as bad. Okay, uh, it still felt a little weird. I mean, they do take their 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 uh, philosophical view. They're like, violent, oh, it's big time. Like yeah. violence is is not really the answer. Yeah. Yet this is a game about violence. And on top of that, though, that is a lot of gang members. Like yes. you, you know, yeah. we we think of gang members going in and being like, oh, I'm just gonna take because they're bad guys, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but bad in, guys. in Grand Theft Auto Five, you play first person, you can hit anybody. 
So you walk up to a regular guy just trying to go home, and you stab him? You feel real weird. You know, actually, they did that in um, in Dragon Age, the first one, actually. There's, there's the guy who's in the... Um, in Origins? Uh, no. Is that the, the Dragon's first Origins no. is the, the first one, Dragon Age. Dragon Age. So you're playing it. Oh. There's, a, there's a guy in like a, like a like a cage. That's the, the one that came one. later. Oh, okay. So there's like a cage this guy's hanging in, and he has a key, and you can get it from him. And like it's a game in third person, right? Yeah. But you have the option to just stab him and take the key. And it does, I remember that it does flip to first person real quick while you stab him, and you're like, like I felt terrible. I was you're like, like, oh, I I killed that. Like in Mass yeah. Effect and Dragon Age in general, it. I've never like. I've never redone an action. I'm like, no, my shepherd would not change his mind. My person in Dragon Age, whatever my person's name was, would not change his or her mind. Yeah. But like after that happened, I was like, I'm putting the controller down. I'm walking away. I'm gonna go take a bath. I feel I feel dirty. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not a nice person. I feel bad. And that's the thing. It's like when I was playing, um, what do you call it, the Game of Thrones game? Like mm-hmm. you get to the point where like your your father just got killed or something. It's in the first five minutes of the game, and there's another dude. It's like, do you stab him or not? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what kind of character I am. Do I do I oh, feel yeah. bad for stabbing somebody? Like if I stab someone, do I get in trouble? Yeah. Like what is this world? But oh, in no, Dragon it's... Age, it was like, oh no, you're a terrible person. You just stabbed that dude. Mm-hmm. He was defenseless, and you stabbed him. And by the way, that was Dragon Age Origins, so you all can eat it. Dragon right. Age Origins, 2009, first game. No. Hence Origins. Dragon Age. I'm looking at the Wikipedia. That doesn't make any sense. It, it, that's what's why it's called Origins. It Dragon Age Two was the bad one that no one liked, where he went to Kirkwall, and then Dragon Age of Constitution is the new one. Dragon Age Origins, the first one. Origins. I guess maybe. Is so. that what got? Yeah, me? That's the one that Kinsey left, and everybody knows on the podcast that she made me want to play it. The is whole that time. the one that that you could you could play in as the, the cage and the guy that yeah. is shale the, the golem the, the the girl golem that sounded like a dude. Yes, but it was a golem. Yeah, I, think, I mean, and he's the, never played the, it. The, the so girl had your dragon. I have played you're specifying. It. No, I have. I've, I've played it. Oh, you played it? Yeah, I remember that cage scene. And you had to, like, freaking do the whole Lord of the Rings, like, gather the army. That was Dragon Age Origins. I'm saying it is. I, he might be right. Because it definitely had it definitely had a subtitle. I'm at this point where I'm convinced at this point, you guys just, you guys win this. I don't know what's going on. And if we're wrong, it's cool, so it's right. the whole yeah, internet yeah, hates us. Right. I'm looking at the thing. It's Dragon Age Origins. I mean, he's, he's on the Wikipedia. <laughs> Let's move on from whatever that was. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I'll say this. This is pretty fun. This is a fun little story. <laughs> let's just let's just apologize for whatever. I'll apologize for the Mortal Kombat part because it's ridiculous. Um, I will say this. Oh yeah, that choose your own adventure game was released on Twitter. How fun is that? I saw that came up. It's a Eddie. game on Twitter. Yeah, so it's like, hey, people are after you. Uh, so, so you just tweet back and then and you tweet back at it. reply and the bot and like, then it responds decides. to you. Yeah, it's like, do you run or hide? And it's like the first thing. That that sounds pretty great. Dude, we used that's that's awesome. I, we got a It's so response. simple. It's so great that it's yeah, so simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I feel like that's we co- we had thought about doing it before. With like a, we had this air ju- a friend of mine and I. Sorry, we're not friends anymore. That we started oh, working on where we had it this, just like, got real people. <laughs> Hands real, up, real talk. Why. <laughs> real talk. <laughs> we had this like dreadlocked dude who gave you financial advice on Twitter. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know where he is anymore. Wait, it's a real person. No, oh, it was, it was a bot. He was a bot. You just like said something, and then he'd give you like oh, some wisdom. I like that. It was like a magic eight ball. Nice. I think more stuff Invest. can be done. Sell, in that. sell, <laughs> yeah, nice. sell. Divest. Buy, buy, buy Honda stock. Don't do that. <laughs> Although Hondas probably, are great cars, I was, I'd say that's probably generally good advice. It's a great car. Yeah, I'm just I'm I'm quoting John like was on the. Best. We are done with this podcast. <laughs> We've had yeah. enough pizza and liquor to have it be over. <laughs> you know, and we ran the gamut of games. We have from eight bit to to smartphone back to a, uh, a t- back to the table <laughs> back to a, tw- a Twitter times. a Twitter text adventure. All I gotta say is I'm gonna show you the trailer for Tekken after this or fuck it. <laughs> really? No, I'm gonna show you the trailer the for countries. Mortal Kombat 10 after this, and you're gonna go. Oh, I'm sorry, it's X. It's X. Not 10. And you're gonna go either A, that's awesome, Carl. You're an idiot, and I'm gonna go. Oh, you're not my friend anymore. Or B, you're gonna be like, I see what you mean. Come, let's have a hug. We, this we is already, terrible. We already have a Game of Thrones reckoning coming. That's I, I true. I, I so man. I don't know. Like, it's kind I want to still story. be friends. Just, just imagine that you could watch a movie about two guys bonding over. Actually, this is another point, which I'm going to end with. Oh please! I can, I can end. I just he's like, like I'm ending this podcast, girls. <laughs> yeah, this is how it goes. It. Here's the point. I, I bought a movie the other day called Press Start. I haven't seen it. Oh, yet. I know it. Yeah. Have you seen it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I just know it's got like pe- the the. The soundtrack designer from Contra 4, because that game was great. And then it also has the actors from Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, the games. Yeah. I like all that stuff, though. Oh, I wow. eat it all up. <laughs> that 
Is this a, a is this a documentary called? No, it's a, it's a movie. All right. It's a movie. It's a movie I'll, I'll, about a I'll rock. watch that. A young Ryuish character. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> By the way, you all should watch. There's um, what is the one that's out? Well, obviously, any game the movie is actually great, but that's a, a while ago. There was a video games documentary, like it's, video games the movie. Video games the movie. It's on Netflix right yeah, now. I yeah. didn't look yep. at it yet. It's Good. okay. It's okay. Um, I think Zach Braff somehow produced it, Zach which is weird. Braff. Zach Braff from the I like that the, from the, the Garden nude? State. They never nude. The Garden State? No. Yeah. No. The Garden State? The Garden yeah. State. I like the Garden, Garden State. State. <laughs> I like Garden State. Yeah. How many times do I have Garden from, State? From the Scrubs. The, the Scrubs guy. The Scrubs in the Garden State? The Garden State. I had to say <laughs> Garden State like three times as Sean over here. Um, <laughs> no, I, I got you in the Garden Atticus, State. Atticus, where are you on the internet? Where people can find you? Oh, man. I You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Tickus Wyman. It's uh, so cool. It's the at sign. Uh-huh. And then T-S-C-U-S Wyman. W-I-M-A-N. That's good. We'll put it in the links. Yeah. I... I don't tweet, so don't find me there. I mean, you could you could send harassment to me. I will. I'm happy to receive harassments at my Twitter. Okay, so. send him glitter, and um, then physical glitters. You know, it's got its place. I guess you need to look at a PO box at least for that. Sean, where are you on the internet? Oh my God, I'm in two places. You are? I'm in two places. So they're on Twitter. I'm at um, Hypatia's Angst, which is H Y P A T I A S A N G S T. It's like my gamer tag on everything. So okay. You can find me there. And then on Facebook, you can also find me on facebook.com slash Anatolia's Finest. Which a- is your band. Yes. And and, <laughs> and the spelling of it is a- now. L-O-I-A-F-I-N-E-S-T. I don't know. It'll be in the links. We will put it in the links. But the uh, band name's actually a reference to Armored Core 4. Ooh. Ooh. Nerd reference up in this bitch. Do it. Yeah. I listened to some of the tracks, and I thought of Basquiat mm-hmm. and his band. So that's Ooh. a pretty bit high praise. Thank you. Just saying. Um, O-N-A-W-A is me on the Twitter. At Video Game Break is our Twitter. <laughs> you are off the podcast. That's it. He's, Sean's ta- not, he's not allowed back. Oh, I thought you were speaking to your god-awful coasters. <laughs> no, the, the coasters might be also off the podcast. I did have in, uh, explicit instructions. So Sean's he's banned. But other than that, uh, at Video Game Break on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Video Game Break. Uh, you can go to VideoGameBreak.net, the website. And if you want to write for us, you can. We just give you an account, and you can do it. Just do it. So do that if you want. Uh, Sean had a glimmer in his eye. Maybe he'll do it. Um, I did have a glimmer in my eye. He did. I saw I it. I was going to suggest everyone send pictures of their Skylanders collections to Carlos. Oh, please, because I need dude. to figure out what that's about. He needs to see them. At Onawa, send me pictures of Skylanders. I don't get it. I still somehow don't get it. Um, thanks to you for listening, and uh, I've had liquor. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait, wait. Also, compulsion. Was it compulsion? Compulsion loop, yeah. We should do one more compulsion, compulsion loop bit. Compulsion loop? Um, and also, Compulsion Loop is coming out with a new single. It's coming out in uh, 2015 in March. It will drop so very hot. It's going to drop hot. And the name of it is, w- what's the name of it again? Um, I... <laughs> wait, what's your... Wait, who, I thought you were French. You yeah. change all the time. Yeah, je, je parle en français. Right. So uh, what's the name of it again, uh, French uh, guy? Je, je pense que c'est uh, 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 omelette de fromage. Man, wh- even though I should know the language because we're, we're in the we're, same band? It's, it's called it's Cheese Omelette. Come on, Cheese Omelette. <laughs> so that's our new single, Cheese Omelette, and you're going to get it for like four ninety nine on Amazon.com on their digital music store. And um, You should use the Pirate Bay in Europe. We love it. I, I may, we're not supposed <laughs> to say the torrents. I might actually go write Cheese Omelette <laughs> and come back to you with that. Also, uh, hands up.